Okay guys, welcome back to our Let's Play of The Sinking City. Just gonna make sure we're recording here. Everything's looking good. As you know, because I'm playing this on the Xbox and I don't want to pay Microsoft another 50 bucks for the stupid uh, thing to hook my mic directly in so I can record everything on the machine. Uh, I'll be recording audio separately on a different device um, and then just recording the gameplay on my Xbox, so that's why I always have to constantly check what's going on. Anyways, uh, it's been a minute for me, maybe about a week, week and a half since I was able to pick this game up. I've been incredibly busy. Um, but for you guys, hopefully it won't seem like that long. I have part one uploaded and ready to go, I just need to publish it and put some uh, keywords and description and stuff like that in. And then part two I have ready for assembly. It honestly shouldn't take too long in the uh, in Premiere. Um, so we'll see, and then this is gonna be part three. So my goal is to actually get this finished within the next couple of days so that it can be up for the week of uh, Halloween 2020 and you guys can check it out as sort of a spooky, interesting Let's Play. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, once again, I don't really remember what I was doing exactly last time I was here and where we're going and what the hell is going on, but I do remember one thing. Was that it was an even longer period of time between when I played it previously and now, and it's uh, I picked it up pretty quickly. So, a favor for the bartender, Western Grivehaven Bay, Levi Coffin Avenue, not far from the crossroad. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's go to our casebook. Fathers and Sons, Letters from Oakmont, Field Research, A Delicate Matter. Okay. So two of these are, this is a fetch quest, this is fetch quest-like, this is another fetch quest. Um, one of the victims, R. Becker, lived in a manor in Southern Old Grove on Beacon Street, south of Century Avenue. Manor crime scene. Yep. Bounty of the sea. The lost barge in the private was transporting a load of chemicals and metal bottles. Its captain was extremely patriotic. More importantly, rumor says it was seen in southern shells on Moreland Road near the intersection of Old Colony Street. So, uh, when I checked out the walkthrough, again, guys, I'm not looking at the walkthrough for hints. I usually just check out the skeletal kind of bullets of the walkthrough to just get an idea of how far through the game we are. So I, I do want to focus right now more on story missions than anything else. So favor for the bartender. Let's check our map real quick. So I got the key evidence of the smuggler's hideout. Oh yeah, I made contact with the smugglers and they want me to do something so that I can secure patches, passage for the guy so that he can get me into the esoteric order of Dagon, which I think we still necessarily haven't discovered is uh, called the esoteric order of Dagon, but it's called EOD. And last time we played too, we went into one of these areas and we fought a ton of monsters and I don't think we cleared it. So I'm not sure if these are clearable or not, but it seems to be the fastest way to level up. And let's check our skills right now. Um, combat proficiency, don't really need it right now. Knowledge points, one. Oh, so I can upgrade, I think I can upgrade something. So I have those two, I increased my vital, or yeah, these two. And then I remember I, I wanted more crafting materials. I wanted more XP, so I have the maximum XP boost. Sanity hasn't been that much of an issue, excuse me. Yeah, 50 foot chance, double quest reward items. Okay, so the most important things we need right now are yeah, we need ammo, we need more health, more attack damage. These seem kind of useless. So these seem pretty good, these seem pretty good, and then the combat proficiency. Setting traps uh, twice as quickly might be um, interesting. Holding traps 
and then traps that do damage. Those seem slightly superfluous. Um, they could be useful, but, you know, shooting things, just moving quickly and shooting things is probably better. Um, better battle rifle proficiency, two additional shotgun shells, improved damage, accuracy, So we can increase our basically our critical hit chance by 20% if we upgrade these. Um, this seems like a really good one. We don't have the battle rifle yet, but yeah, it just it's a, just a base 20% increase in damage um, and a 10% chance to do double damage. So that seems pretty good because if we want to level up our character all the way, we're going to need to focus on some combat stuff and go into those areas. Also, I would like to know if you can clear the areas or not, so I don't know. Anyways, let's go back to our casebook. The barger can arrange a meeting with the smugglers in return for finding out what happened to his courier. The courier went missing after visiting a house on Levi Coffin Avenue, not far from the crossroad with Marsh Avenue Western. Bartender asked me to fetch a crate containing water of life from the house um, if I have time. I feel like I did that one already. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the bar. Wherever it is, I don't remember. Oh, here it is. Seven Oaks. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna drop off the, the liquor with the bartender. Unless we already did that. I don't know. I don't know why it still says a favor for the bartender. Unless I pinned that? I think I might have pinned that. your poison. Uh, alright, so, hold on. A week ago, Brutus, Brutus woke up in the crematorium situated in the graveyard on the corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street in Southern Reed Heights. He was naked, covered in rancid slime, and tagged as a corpse. Brutus was going to be burned alive, but luckily for him, he managed to escape. Brutus thinks that somehow someone close to him planned to do away with him and then take his position. He doesn't remember much, but thinks the diary from the safe in his room may help to him discover... Uh, who it was. Somehow I need to get inside the manor without causing alarm. Carpenter's Manor is in Southern Old Grove on Gold Bridge Road between Century Avenue and Hillside Street. I don't remember if we went to the crematorium. I think we did? So we're going to tag this one. Pin evidence. We're going to place it on map. Southern Old Grove, the Shells, Advent, Old Grove, Reed Heights, Cover Side. Okay, so we need to go here. We're between Century Avenue and Hillside Street. Here's Hillside. Southern Old Grove Road. Oh, Gold Bridge Road. Here we go, Goldbridge Road between, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and double in the manor, sweet. And Old Grove South. So let's, let's get out of here and go to the fast travel point. Yeah, I was hoping to do some more horror-based games for uh, this month. Uh, I've been working through Thief Gold, which is more horror-based than I think 
any of them? Well, no, Thief Deadly Shadows has some pretty... It's got the Shale Bridge Cradle, so... Um, and uh, I was hoping maybe System Shock as well, that might be fun. Um, but like I said, guys, I just haven't had time. Um, I'm working on preparing for my oral exam for my PhD, which is a nightmare. And uh, also, my neighbors got annoyed by this uh, Bronco I have, this Ford Bronco I have in my yard that I've been working on. And uh, City said that if I don't get it running and, and or sold or whatever, or at least covered up in some sort of special structure, uh, they're going to fine us and do all sorts of shit. So it's like, I've been restoring that. It's taken up a lot of time and a bunch of other stuff. So. So I literally just need to go this way and then... Wait. Right? Yeah, keep... Oh, hold on. Yeah, this way, and then take a right. That should take us there. Here's the manor. I dare say that's probably the place. Carbon family offers food and medicine between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day, one piece per person. I wonder if they're connected to EOD because EOD is doing the same thing. Hey, hey you. No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community, generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. I could use some supplies, if you can spare them. Here, take some noise. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on then. Bye. Okay, so. Carpenter Manor. I wonder if that's a reference to John Carpenter. By the way, if you guys are looking for some uh, cool horror movies to check out, um, I would check out, speaking of John Carpenter, Vampires, it's free on Amazon Prime. It's a John Carpenter movie. It's kind of campy and stupid, so just have fun with it, but I wouldn't say it's a good movie. But it's got James Woods as a vampire hunter with a bunch of other weirdos, and it, it's pretty fun. Um, what else? Oh, In the Mouth of Madness. Absolutely excellent movie. And if you want something very Carpenter-esque with also a Lovecraft vibe, I would heavily recommend uh, The Void. That came out, I want to say 2018, 2017, something like that. Um, but yeah, just check it out. It's a really good movie. Really good sort of uh, creature flick with Lovecraftian stuff. And it's, and you know, it's actually kind of uh, creepy in places. It's an actual horror movie. Um... What other John Carpenter movies? Oh, They Live. They Live is another one. I mean, you can watch that all year round, but it is sort of like horror-esque. The Thing, obviously. Um, and I just forgot all the John Carpenter... You know, Christine's actually a pretty good movie, if you guys into it. Obviously, Halloween. And I don't know what you guys think, but I personally actually really liked the... Um, uh, was it 2018 Halloween... Uh, sequel. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it find it made Michael Myers scary again. So, where are the potatoes? Interesting. There's probably going to be some horrifying thing that jumps out of the wall and tries to eat me. But what is the button? Okay, I don't know 
What's all the secrecy about the potatoes? All right, I guess I gotta save this guy from uh, unspeakable Lovecraftian monsters. Ah, please, friends, don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. And look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. Don't worry. I... I get it. Look, uh... Hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh, oh thank you, mister. Okay, bless See, now I'm... You're a life saver. I'm curious. Just I gotta look up a filmography of back, John Carpenter because I'm losing my mind now. And I'm just like, uh, that's all the recommendations I have? Are you fucking serious? And my internet's being wonky again. Anyways, it'll come up. Alright, so. Figured out the great mystery of the sack of potatoes. Let's go back. Uh, we didn't really finish exploring the house. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, you know, the fog, the fog is really good. Uh, and it's got great Halloween sort of atmosphere. And In the Mouth of Madness, I gotta say, is not just one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and it's possibly my favorite John Carpenter movie, but it's also one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just fantastic. It's got a really interesting feel to it. So, yes, please, if you're into Lovecraft and you like John Carpenter, just, you owe it to yourself, go check out in the mouth of madness. Let's see what else we got here. I've just got the list up while we're talking about it. Uh, oh, Prince of Darkness! That's the one I was thinking of. Yes, Prince of Darkness. Please watch that one. Fantastic movie. Great Halloween movie. Once again, great atmosphere. Also, I really like the Hellraiser series, like at least the first two or three. I would say the second one, I believe, is the one where they go to, like, the Hell Dimension or whatever. Um, Yes, so you kind of need to watch the first one to kind of have some understanding of what the hell's going on. I don't really like the first one that much. I think it's a little bit boring. But uh, the Cenobites are cool. But yeah, Hellraiser 2, which I believe is also... The fuck is this? <laughs> Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening. Good sound design. Um, yeah, uh, Hellraiser 2, fantastic movie, um, check it out. Hold on. Did I reload? I'm getting low on ammo, though. And I need to be able to carry more ammo, too. This is, it's 11 rounds or whatever the hell I can carry, or 16 rounds, it's horseshit. I got something from there. Why is my health so low? Um, let's see. Yeah, like I said, uh, Christine. Body bags, I don't think he directed. Sorry, I just have a weird list up here. Um, oh, I'd say Halloween 3. It wasn't directed by him. It's uh, really interesting. It feels like a... It feels like a... A John Carpenter movie. Um, but don't ever watch The Ward. That is a big pile of shit. I 
personally, I doubt he honestly had anything to do with it. It's that bad. It's just a really awful movie. Um, I mean, I couldn't even really watch it. It was so bored out of my mind. And I was just like, how is this a John Carpenter movie? There's, there's no fucking way. You know? I don't know why it's giving me double supplies. Maybe I didn't get the, them before. Or something. So yeah, just because it's clear John Carpenter's a big uh, Lovecraft fan. Um, honestly, I think In the Mouth of Madness is probably one of the better Lovecraft movies. If you like Lovecraft movies, though, uh, the new Nick Cage uh, Color Out of Space is... Tonally, it's a bit weird in the beginning, but it kind of gets there towards the end. It's pretty horrific at the end, so it's a, it's a good horror story at the end there. Um, Alright, let me, let me finish up this part of the quest. There's a, a minor issue. What? what? What issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, man, take them. I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Yeah, Color Out of Space. There's actually an interesting movie. I think it's Spanish, uh, called Dagon. That one's pretty well done. It's and uh, here's another thing. A lot of I feel like sometimes um, either people like so many elements of all the stories that they're just like, oh, if I can get the money to just make only one movie, I'm gonna like just combine them all. And it's like this game is doing that. The game Call of Cthulhu does that. Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth did that, and Dagon the movie did that, and there's a couple other Lovecraft movies that do that. Um, I'm trying to remember... There's a sort of interesting one called Cthulhu. Um, I think it came out in like 2011, 2012, something like that. It was on Netflix for a while. It's more of a personal story, but there, there's some interesting sort of Lovecraftian backdrop to it. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. I'd, I'd check it out. Note on Brute. Don't let Papa Brute have the keys to the room. He's already lost them twice around the house. Okay. Okay, some sort of horrible monstrosity. Oh, took out my sanity a little bit because I had to look at squid monsters. It's the number one rule in Lovecraftian games. Uh, you can't look at squid monsters for too long. It's obscene. Oh, I see. Alright, so I'm going to go collect some evidence first just in case anything interesting comes up when I talk to the guy. then huh now weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover Brutus well isn't that the pot calling the kettle a cooking heating device <laughs> this has been empty for years <laughs> seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle What is that, Saturn eating his children? That's the thing? Man, mythology is so fucked up. Brutus's diary. This is an unexpected turn of events. I'm on the verge of complete rejuvenation. Frankly, I didn't expect the flock of this age-old church to still exist, let alone assist on my quest. Perhaps this high priest merely feigns disgust at our family's 
family proclivities, or perhaps he finally understands what I must why I must prolong my existence. Regardless, all that remains to meet is all that remains is to meet with him. Sorry guys, I've been drinking just a little bit. Because he's irrelevant, for out of all of Oakmont, I alone deserve eternal life. Tomorrow. Tomorrow the city will meet a new, young, brutus carpenter. Okay. Key evidence collected, very nice. Gonna go ignore that other guy and explore his office. Well, that's kind of interesting with the ape and fish themes in this game. Letter from Boston Dear Graham, I was glad to receive your last letter, and I appreciate that you're worried about me. I want to thank you once more for saving my life in that battle. I'm sorry about what happened to your face. You could have just left me, left me there, dying. But you didn't. I'm forever in your debt, Jones. Okay? Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Forgive me, Father. For I have sinned. Forgive me, Father. Or I have I guess we saw all that. Hmm. I've seen this face before. Paris, December 1918. Paris, December 1918. Right after the guns stopped firing. Goodbye. Let's go talk to this old weirdo. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. Okay. Let's go check the kitchen just in case there, we do need to bring him something to eat. Is there anything behind the bar? No. Alright. I'm sorry, I gotta check my voice levels here. Should be okay. Um. Nothing to eat. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is, is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. No offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. 
mask. Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it if you don't mind. Goodbye. Oh, all evidence collected. Look at that. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Thief, and I was like, can I steal that? And I was like, ah, hold on a minute. What you making, kid? All right, well. Let's go talk to Mr. Potato Head. What in the is that? Do you guys see what I'm looking at here? That's disconcerting. This Oakmont place does not... Uh... I think I may have said this last... Uh... Let's play, but um, if you want a to play a game that just like nails like the spooky sort of uh, atmosphere of Halloween, go pick up Vampire and play it right away. Uh, I actually was gonna do a, a recording or let's play on this channel, but uh, uh, I had it available on Xbox at one point and uh, it's broken. Like when you use the DVR option, the game DVR, it doesn't record audio, so I don't know what the deal is. But it's a fantastic game, amazing graphics. You got to check it out. Me again. You can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, um... Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Oh, terrible. People called them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Kay bless him and his generosity. Please, send him my thanks. Okay. That's taken care of. Let's go back. Yeah, Vampire, absolutely excellent game. Nails the atmosphere, uh, nails the, the subject matter. And I don't personally find vampires that creepy, but there's some parts in the game that are genuinely sort of creepy and unnerving. The way that the city is after dark and things like that. It's, uh, and here's the thing. It's a fun game, too, because it's a, it's a decent challenge. Some of the combat can be kind of, uh, it's got a very Souls-like... Souls like Witcher 3 sort of combat system, so you have to be on your toes. You can't just button mash through the whole thing. You gotta watch your stamina. You gotta watch your health. You can die pretty easily, so. Something wrong. Well, I thought I was supposed to go tell him. Alright, so. I feel like we went to the crematorium before, but maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's check our casebook again. Mind Palace, Smuggler's Boss, Ruth. Smuggler's Boss, Ruthless Tyrant. She made an example of the courier by burning him alive for his betrayal. Okay. Sorry. Huh? Graham's brave enough to go against the family's traditions. He really wants to change things for the better. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to our clues. Brutus wants to be a better man. I guess those, none of those fit. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our casebook. A week ago, Brutus woke up in the crematorium 
situated in the graveyard on the corner of Wayne Road and Fellow Cave. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Carpenter's Manor is in Southern Old Cave. Brutus thinks that someone close to him planned to do away with him and then take his position. He doesn't remember much, but he thinks that the diary from the safe in his room may help him discover who it was, somehow without causing alarm. So I need to get the diary from the safe. Oh! I found it already. This is an unexpected turn of events. I'm on the verge of complete rejuvenation. Frank, oh! Age old high priest merely feigns disgust that her family pro COVID is perhaps tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to pin this, so I'm going to place it on the map. Crematorium in Southern Reed Heights, corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street. So, Reed Heights, Southern corner of Wayne Road. Huh. I feel like we did go there before. Well, let's check it out again just in case. I mean. Don't you have work to do? Not anymore. I'm sorry, I must uh, end my association with this enterprise, my friends. Once again, I do feel bad for Frogwares because look at the just the love and time and effort they put into this. Um, it's definitely a much larger scope um, and much more of a passion project than their Sherlock Holmes games, you know. And I, th I think because of the scope, you can kind of tell there's an implication that they thought it was going to uh, be a bigger hit or, or sell more units. But uh, this kind of came... I remember it sort of made a splash at E3. And then, um, when it released, it, it kind of like released with a whimper, so. We're gonna go here and see if we can't try. Should, so Phillips and Wayne Road on the corner here. If that's it, well, we're gonna check it out, you know? Continue. Let's just check our map. Let's go back down this way. I'm a little concerned. We can try the crematorium again in case we didn't get all the evidence there. Yeah, like I said, I remember going there last time. Good day to you, kind sir. I hope the angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Did something happen? Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. But but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired. I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. I can help you. I'm quite experienced at finding people. Alive. Usually. Oh, 
Just <clears throat> kind sir, I'll I'll repay you. I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. Okay, well, maybe I haven't come here before. Yeah, I don't think I have, so we're gonna check it out. Hopefully there's no monsters. But I'm ready. I'm ready for them. Feel free to resurrect. Very optimistic. <laughs> and stuff. Lived under mis lived under mysterious circum circumstances. I like this. Joanna Pambiera Bor Bor Borkowska Borkowska murdered by her editor in chief. Alexander Tully stood tall, buried deep. This is like Boot Hill and Tombstone. Nick Shadell, I ain't dead. Zach Jackson, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking that the other day. Someone says that. Chandler T. Wood, whether we wanted it or not. Daniel Krupa, I told you I was ill. Jesse Cox, lover of redheads, perhaps one too many. It's like, it's like Davy Jones' ship around here. Just barnacles everywhere. There is something Lovecraftian about the visual design for the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay. Very neat. Someone spent a lot of time opening it. Apparently Gordon Freeman was opening it. Virginia Cooper, 1887 to... Hmm, another victim of the flood. An honorable citizen. No left on grave. My beloved Virginia, I'm fulfilling your final wish. You'll rest in your own house forever. Forgive me, for I was not brave enough to declare my love to you while you were my, among the living. I will atone for my mistake. Okay, is that everything? I think that's everything for Virginia's grave. I can look up uh, her obit in the in the paper. Died for the sins of party alias. Ilya Jenba. I wonder what would happen if I pressed this button. <laughs> Anton Sergen in love with explosions. Ivan Kumprienko, janitor. I feel like that's a reference. Michael Napora. He came from faraway land once every six months. May he rest in peace. Once every six months. Vlad Novikov. Sold swimming pools in Oakmont. <laughs> I'm going to rule that one as a suicide, potentially. Tatiana Rudenko forgot to turn God mode. <laughs> Vitali Kolomietz was personally acquainted with the Graf of Andor. I don't know what that means. Here lies Kir Kirillo Kuz Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov. Irena Belos, brutally murdered by a passerby. <laughs> V. Pakalan. So you really thought I was joking? Just gonna investigate these. What are these mausoleums? Or crypts? I think they're crypts. I don't think we checked out that little hill. Surprisingly, there's no. Uh, Jason Allen Brooks, respawning in 3, 2, 1, connection lost. I wonder if I can jump into the sea. I probably can. Oh, no, I can't. There's good invisible wall there to save me from my own hubris. Oh, is this a... 
Was this one that got broke? No. Me no, that just that was a landslide. Sergio Hejas Gonzalez. He missed an extra life. <laughs> John Papadopoulos, an infallible asshole at censoring words. Andy Chalk, a profusely polite disciple of Clarkashton Clarkashton till the end. I feel like that's a reference I should get. That sounds like it's from Star Trek. Alesso Palombo, Fire and Blood. What is this over here? Giant whale carcass or something. Let's uh, check the map. Where am I now? Oh, I haven't been to this little island yet. I think I'll steer clear for now. It's a dude fishing. What's up? Oh, this is one of the great. Okay, so we. These sure weren't ordinary grave robbers. Looks like there was some sort of blood ritual. A book page. During the ex exhumation of a mage, you need to protect yourself. Use the following signs and incantation to submerge the magician's mind into a deep astral dream. There's a library stamp on the bottom of the page. Property of Oakmont Library, closed section, European literature, 19th century, page 145. Well, I think I can check the library records to see who checked it out, and then I can find them. And that's it. Oh, we can read the thing. Unknown, 1812. Okay. Also, is that Cthulhu on the fucking get? No, there's angels. Welp. Alright, cool. And we think we missed another one over here that we were going to investigate. Here's another one. Oh no, this is just a... Cool, I got some stuff. Antonina Melnikova. Melnik... Melnikova, I guess. Yes, I'm dead. What's next? Uh, what do we got here? Jonathan Barkin. Quam illum noctem horrendum vestrum in juramentum. Well, I don't speak lab Latin, but uh, I'm... Hmm. How do I take a snapshot? Okay, so I'm going to check that out later. Paul Miliuski. Miliuski. Man, I'm really not good at these uh, Eastern European names. Died for the sanctity of the embargo. All these bites are fresh. Guy. His death wasn't fast. Ah! God damn it! Holy shit! Where's my fucking grenades? Where's my goddamn shotgun? Get some! Let's go! Come on, fight me! Come on, let's go. Let's go. Fire me, buddy. Let's go. Taste E tool, vile swine.
Yes, yes. Oh, man. What a bunch of bastards. All right, well, now that we got all these fresh, freshly minted fresh. supplies, let's do something with them. Inventory. All right, so what am I going to need? I definitely want another frag, if I could, please. And I can't craft it. Fantastic. Uh, I'll probably find first aid around here. Four out of eight. Yeah, that'll be nice to have. Well, damn it. Okay. Eight out of twelve. I forget which one does more damage. Well, let's... Damn it. Death wasn't fast. The blood is almost soaked into the soil. Just gotta use my spooky vision for a second here, guys, so we can find out what happened to this poor bloke. Whoa, that was creepy. The coffin was barely covered with dirt. The grave digger could do a better job. Edgar Taylor, 1896, victim of the flood. Scratches are fresh. Looks broken from the inside out. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I found one body. That's a very uplifting tombstone. I really... just inspires me with hope. I should have known there'd be monsters. Ivan Bonamarov, I only wish to speak. Sir J10, look mom, I'm on a tombstone. <laughs> Gilbert Brisson, don't dig, filth inside. I'm guessing someone didn't like him very much. Max Riznik no longer has the high ground. <laughs> Vlad Bieliev. Bieliev. Wake me up after the release. Stacy Smith. Died in self defense. Okay, and I feel like that's the way to the spooky place where there's just tons of monsters. Yes, and I'm not going over there. I don't want to fight. A million monsters right now. Because I just don't have the... I don't have the resources. I can't hack it. Although if I get some of those damage reduction skills... Let me see what our skill points are at. Still just one knowledge point. What do you guys think? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Sweet, I got one of my hand grenades back. Just let me in there. I want to see. Oh, okay. We're back here. So we didn't go this way. Already went up there, check that place out. It's up here. That looks to be maybe the crematorium. 
Not sure. I think, yeah, we did all this, right? Lived under. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. So we checked all this out. We don't need to. We're good to go here. See, I'm terribly afraid, because this is on the corner. That seems to be the crematorium. Because I don't see no crematorium around here. How do we save? I think it just ought... Yeah, here, let's go ahead and save. And try and make it to the crema... If that is the cre... I don't know if it's the crematory, but I mean, if there's just a shitload of monsters to fight, I don't know if we can do that. Or what's this? It's nothing, I guess. Nothing we need concern ourselves with right now. You know, okay, before I start this crematorium fight, guys, let me go ahead. We're going to stop this portion of the recording. I'll, I'll do another section. All right, we've started recording again. Should only be a few seconds off for that one. Let's see. Crematorium, there we go. Office floor, furnace hall floor, morgue floor, crematorium floor. Okay. Now let's read it in case it's considered evidence. That's downright macabre. I don't hear any monsters. We might be okay. So, morgue floor one. Funeral hall floor one. So we haven't seen the morgue yet, because that door is locked. And we're going down now. But if chaos, one of the doors just popped open scare the bejesus out of us. Is it this? Crematorium registry. Last week, person on duty, James Warren. List of the deceased. Says seven unidentified corpses cremated. J. Huss cremated. S. Cole to be cremated. V. Black to be cremated. Jack White to be cremated urgently. This week, Person on duty, Robert Taylor, James Warren, on sick leave since last week. List of the deceased, 16 unidentified corpses, cremated, M. Jane cremated. Let's go back to the casebook. Okay, that was important. Uh, what did the map say? Jack White to be cremated immediately. So that's the that was the strange what's the oddity there? Okay. Well, let's try and figure out what the hell's going on here. Note on the door. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. PS this morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. Yeah, budge. I noticed. 
He said he left it on the table. There we go. Is this an elevator? Looks like it. Alright, since we got some more gunpowder and stuff, let's, uh... Don't have enough for that. Oh, sorry. Um, 11 out of 12, 10 out of 21. Let's... Start rounding out our ammunition on this one. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. What the hell is this shit? Tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, it stinks. Can't carry any more springs. Well, can I craft something that needs springs? I'm low in med kits, so I know that requires springs for some stupid reason. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, it stinks. Ah, okay. it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Oh, hold on. I just heard someone screwing around outside. Gotcha, don't worry. Oh, fuck oh, you. What a stench. I feel like one of the lights went out in here. So we got the keys now. Oh, what's this? Ariel Ludo, come on, dude. Fuck it, man. Let's go, boy. Wait, hold on. That's uh, Donnie from uh, The Big Lebowski. Uh, but he should be in a coffee can, a Folgers coffee can, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, fuck it, dude. Let's go bowling. Donnie, shut up. You're out of your element. No, don't worry, uh, Donnie. These guys are nihilists. They're cowards. I need to watch that movie again. It's been too long. You know, I didn't like that movie for many years because I had this. F well, it wasn't. We were friends at one point, but by the time he introduced me to that, I like I just couldn't stand him as a. I guess we can't go through there. Um. I just really couldn't stand him as a person, and uh, you know, and he was obsessed with that movie. So I sort of I didn't equate it with him, but I had a lot of sort of uh, connotations between him and that movie and, and things like that. And so yeah, I just really didn't like it for a while. But then, you know, when you grow up a bit, you realize like, hey, actually, it's just a good movie. It doesn't have to have anything to do with this person I don't like. So. Alright, so I guess we missed some vital whatever. We're gonna have to figure it out. I swear to god, I searched this locker. Can't carry anymore. Alright, well here's what we're gonna do. Or sorry, we're gonna do this. Because we need to heal. There aren't enough ways to get health back in this game. Can't carry anymore. Oh, because I need to craft one. 
Duh. Inventory, go ahead and craft another one. Now we can get one. Sweet. Mort 4, crematorium 4, office 4. So we need to get to the office somehow. I haven't found a way... Unless there's a door I missed, I haven't found a way to... And there's that one upstairs, but it seems to be... Uh, locked or broken or something. Nothing up here. Nothing around here. Oh, you know what? We might have to go around to the front of the building. Ugh. Although that looked like the front of the building. Quite honestly. didn't work. Okay. Alright, let's try another, see if there's another entrance to this building somewhere. Maybe around the other way. We know there are likely to be monsters over here, so... Let's get prepared. Nope. Why didn't it say all evidence collected? That's very strange. I hope it didn't bug out. Like, we can't finish the quest because something's not loading right, you know? I can't... We feel like we should be able to get to the office. We don't even have the key evidence collected here. This poker has got to be covered in slime. There we go. That was horse shit. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Ah, another one for so you. This is one. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What 
by the angles is going on. Where, where am I? Three. I need to get out of here before he comes round. Wait, did they just reset all of the? Ah! ah another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some there we go. to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Uh, just a little insanity. Yeah, that's what I thought. All evidence collected. Cause I'm good at my fake job, fake video game job. Okay, smugglers, boss, ruthless tyrant. James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up in the creek. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment. I'm guessing he'll be in the hospital. Or I'll find him from hospital records. I'm ready to fight. Actually, I'm, I'm ready to run. Let's get back to my boat. Go to the hospital. L'hôpital! Here, I believe. Whoa. Let's talk the to this cemetery guy. is almost sunken, and half of it. They were dug up by some people. That's bad. Others are sunken, taken by the mayor. That's not bad. You must not touch what was taken by the mayor, or the waters will curse you. That's what my mama said. Bye. That guy seems to be getting a bit of the Innsmouth look, if you ask me. Right, and if I'm correct, I just go straight. From here, up the street, and I will find my fast travel point right up here. But I think I'm mistaken, actually. Like I said, one of the other uh, Let's Plays, like, there seems to be a lot of sort of Parisian-inspired architecture here. Yeah, I took the wrong route. Where the hell am I? Yeah, that's the route I took last time. I don't know why I didn't see it. Yeah, okay. We go here. Because you can see the observatory from the from the fast travel point. I believe it's around here. There it is. Go ahead and take that off. I want my map as uncluttered as possible. Uh oh. Man. This game needs some optimization, if you ask me. Where is the hospital? No, I don't think it's in Advent. I think it's over in Old Group. No, it's in Coverside. Oakmont Chronicles. 
Hospital's right here. Okay, so we're going to want to fast travel in here and go straight down Roosevelt. That's where we want to go. Yep. We'll head into the newspaper first to check obits for what's her face. want to check where we're at in the story in terms of length. I know it's a fairly long game, but I'm just, uh... oh man, yeah, we've got, we're not quite halfway, at least in the story mission, so it's, but who knows, some of them might not be super long. Okay, so where are we going to go first? We're going to go over to the Chronicle, so that means... So, let's go to our casebook. I'm gonna go rest in peace. Eaten by monsters. Coffin and grave nearby found on page 20 from a book. Virginia Cooper, 1887, okay. So we're gonna check obits. So, period, after the flood, people, I'm guessing commoners. Nineteenth century Virginia Cooper people commoners current events. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? It's in the City Hall of Records. I think I need to go to City Hall instead, so not this place. So we're gonna go to the hospital now. So I need to take a left at the next street and then go straight on Lincoln. Although it doesn't look like I can get around there. Or maybe I can. It's just to overturn trolley. What was that about? Why is he wearing a skirt? It's a bit revealing. What was that about? This guy looks like he's uh, in the army or something. So what the hell? Okay. Lover's quarrel, I'm guessing. I can't get up there. Yeah, we talked, I think we talked about that. I was gonna go in there and kill some monsters or something. We should buy a car, because I'm tired of 
what running everywhere. Dokily. Hospital should be right up here. Oh, okay, I take a left. Le hôpital. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> oh, that's right. James Warren, head injury. Okay. Where was that? Salvation Harbor. What? 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 Oh no, it wasn't Salvation Harbor. It was Reed Heights. There we go. James Warren, male, 35, citizen, place of work, crematorium. Diagnosis, head trauma, concussion. Treatment, hospitalized, second floor of Oakmont Street, Mary's Hospital. Bed rest recommended. Or St. Mary's Hospital. I don't think it's Oakmont. There we go. So we're just gonna go up to the second floor. We're gonna find this James Warren, if that really is his real name. Oh, oh my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? You got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head. Fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me. Who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talk to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. 
They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. The Woodsy Lord? He busy eating of man flesh? Where did I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. Okay, locate and speak to he may have a head injury. Alright, so we're gonna check our casebook now. All the evidence leads to an old Oakmont church that worships the Lord of the Woods. Maybe some history books could sh shed light on which church it is. I told you, it's the Woodsy Lord. The trickster. I feel like there's gotta be another fast travel point around here close to the hospital. I can't believe we haven't found one yet though. Guess not. Let's see if there's any loot in this house. A lot of art deco around here. I'm trying to remember what year it is. It might work. I mean, it might fit. If it's the 20s, that could work. Ah, damn it. Well, whatever. I don't think there's anything in here. I'm just gonna get the hell out. What interesting attire, my good sir. So apparently the USS Cyclops was a real ship, a uh, real World War One ship. It went down um, in the Bermuda Triangle, I believe, um, and it's sort of one of those ships with a lot of history and mystery around it or something like that. So, um, yeah, so apparently the, the naming system of states and cities and uh, things like that in the Navy is more recent of an invention than than uh, uh, than just just naming them whatever the hell you know so this badass ombre over here just walking around gunning people down in the streets for no apparent reason The traversal, I will say, is kind of padding out the game length. Like, I feel like with all the time we put in thus far, we should be a little bit farther. But we're not. I think it's at the end of this street. But, oh no, I missed. I should have gone this way. They need more fast travel points. Or just be able to fast travel from wherever you are. Is there anything in here? I was like, oh, is it a bar? Can I go in and, like, do something? Fisk Brennan. See, I. What did I just say? I said it's not. I can't. I don't think I can get up there from here. So I have to go. 
a different route, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's annoying. So I think we're going to the library. History book. And that's in Reed Heights, I, th I believe. Let's see, we go Oakmont City Hall. No, it's an Advent University Library. That's where we want to go. So we're going to fast travel. Let's just zoom in a little bit before we start making assumptions about where I'm going. Almost freezing outside right now in Arizona, Arizona desert, and uh, I was swimming literally yesterday. So um, we have this weird cold snap going on right now. I have no idea what the deal is. Hopefully it goes away because, quite honestly, I'm not a huge fan of cold weather. And if it could get another week of swimming in, that would be awesome. Today the high was like 60 and the lows are in the 30s, which is crazy, even for October in Arizona. All the ovens leads to an old Oakmont church which we could shed light on. Okay. History. Let's say 17th and 9th region, local. There we go. Prayer to the heavens. Another prominent Oakmont place of worship was the Redemption Church. Its flock venerated K as the Lord of the Woods, the Shepherd of Lost Lambs. K, you mean the trickster, the woodsy Lord. Uh, Redemption Church was at one time the city's largest congregation, but its influence dwindled after St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush was founded. Redemption Church still stands in Central Salvation Harbor on Marsh Avenue between Polaris Road and Old Ch Church Road. Okay. Now, we're just going to go in our casebook here, and we're going to find Rest in Peace. Uh... Nope. Here we go. Oakmont Library. Property close section 19th century European literature. So section we're not going to bother with, I think. Book information. Borrow a history. Period. Seven, 17th and 19th century. European. For real, dude? Come on. Here we go. What?
It's got to be borrow a history. Restricted section. All right. Really? What? This is horse shit. Bullshit. Name Secrets Beyond the Veil. Author Pierre De La Land. Categories Closed Section European Literature, 19th Century. Publisher Unknown. Last Reader Fabian Coswick. Co. Official Address Eastern Co. Coverside Province, Providence Avenue between St. Elmo and Victory Lane. So let's go to the map. Coverside is right here. St. Elmo. Yeah, well, we can go back there later. We don't need to go now. All right. Okay, so case book. We got the information we need for that one. Fathers and sons. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pin evidence and pin on map. Central Salvation Harbor, Marsh Avenue, between Polaris Road and Old Church Road. Salvation Road, Marsh Avenue. Polaris Road, Marsh Avenue. Salvation Road. And where is our fast travel here? Salvation Harbor East. Okay, I think we unlocked that one. So, let's go find a uh, fast travel. Actually, it's right out here, isn't it? Right across the street. What luck! That's probably our best bet, because we can just walk. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, so I'm recording this on the 27th? 26th, 27th? 26th at night that has transformed into the 27th and uh, Steam hasn't done a Halloween sale yet. There's a couple of games like Canarium and uh, There's one called like 1911 or something like that. There's Remothered uh, a couple of, like indie horror games that I want to play and now I have a good system So after my buddy gave me his old gaming PC and I swapped out some parts and did this that and the other thing Guys, I've got a kick-ass motherboard now. I've got a Ryzen uh, 7 3800XT that I got for the price of a 3700X. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I have a 1060 with 6 gigabytes right now, but that's a placeholder GPU because I will be investing in a 3080 or the new big Navi AMD card. So um, I future-proofed the fuck out of this machine. I also put an uh, SSD. It's a 500 gig right now, but I think I'm going to... Uh, return that and get a one terabyte because the 500 gigs is always driving me insane. Uh, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is I can start playing some stuff. I mean, I will probably do a cyberpunk let's play or um, whatever and definitely review on that game. Um, Atomic Heart, that's one of the reasons I want to get an RTX capable card. Not RTX, Ray Tracing. Um, I want to get a Ray Trace, uh, here we go, Church Redemption. A ray trace capable card because um, that's going to have some interesting ray tracing. But that game, I mean, I don't know if it—it it definitely has piqued my interest. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Bioshock in that the thing that's 
kind of compelling me to play the game is the setting and the tone and the style, not necessarily the gameplay. I mean, the initial E3 of Bioshock was a pre-rendered cutscene, and I just ate it up. I was, like, obsessed. I had to play the game regardless. And I remember my buddy had an ex... He just got his 360, um, and the demo for Bioshock was in the... Bio, it was in the... Um, the Microsoft store so I like we were at his apartment I made him download it. I was like you have to download this and we played it and I was like okay that's it I'm getting a 360 and I did well that's cool I think I just unlocked a bunch of fast travel points so um yeah, I want to play Atomic Heart. I want to play Cyberpunk 2077. As much as I love my Xbox, and it's she's really you know done me well, she's done me right, and seen me through a lot of uh, a lot of gaming. I mean, look at this. Like we're getting frame stutters and things like that here, and it looks pretty good, but it just doesn't run very well. And I'm just kind of ready to transition to PC gaming. Um, if my financial situation radically shifts in the next year and a half. Yeah, eventually I'll pick up an Xbox Series Treasure X because I'll have uh, cast away from your evil deeds and find redemption in our Lord. Um. Yeah, I'll get a Series X because um, I still have a lot of Xbox games digitally. Um, and I love Games Pass, and uh, it'll just nice to have like a, a system I can sort of play casually, and then I can have my gaming system. But it's not just for gaming; it's for working on the channel, and it's for other stuff. And I'm gonna start experimenting with uh, game engines. I might do some thief level building. I might do some Unreal Four stuff. So I just needed something that was more powerful, especially for video work. Like, let's say you just like uh, I'll give you a great example. I recorded uh, one of these videos in an MKV format. And because I, I was doing multiple audio channels, so I was just like, all right, well, the video format will save multiple audio channels so I can adjust them individually. It's great for voiceover stuff because if your mic is too loud and the game volume's too low or vice versa, you can adjust those in editing without having to have two separate files that you put in. Problem is, if you play it back and everything sounds great and you're like, fantastic, well, you can't upload that MKV to YouTube. You can't even import it into Premiere if you need to do some editing. So um, you have to throw it in a handbrake and convert it to an MP4. And the problem with that is that a lot of, so when I first got into video stuff, if you work with other file formats, you don't have to like render things. If you need to convert a JPEG to a, a PNG or something like that, the software will just do it immediately with a video you have to re-render the entire goddamn thing and that's all processor intensive so if you have a crappy cpu it's going to take basically the length of the video because it takes like one it's like one frame per second or not one frame per second but it it might only be able to render 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and so it's just like yeah if the video is two hours it's going to take two hours to render just changing file formats so it's better to have like a kick-ass CPU to do work like this because then it's less hassle. I mean, it's still going to be a hassle, but it's like, it's way easier. Plus I was doing everything on a laptop before, which was fine. And it's a mobile CPU, so it's built for higher temperatures, but it was just way too hot doing anything. I mean, it was like 78, 80 degrees rendering video, like for hours. And I just wasn't comfortable keeping my, my main CPU that I use for everything at that temperature for that long period of time. So, um, that's another reason I've just, I've been wanting, a like a gaming PC that was like future proof and like had all the right stuff in it for years. And I finally had the opportunity to do that. So I took advantage of it. All right. So that's enough of me babbling about bullshit. Let's get into the game. These locks can be a little finicky sometimes. There we go. I feel the need. The need for... Second Amendment level protection here. That's what I feel the need for. Great, my spider sense is attacking. Oh, sanity. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you! Fuck! Oh, oh! Shit! Oh, 
She's a cruster. Screw you. Oh my god. That was a big mistake. Mamma mia, that was... Well, they got me. I need a better gun. I hope the game starts... First of all, the game needs to reward you with more XP than it does for playing the actual game. Combat is clearly not a big part of this game, and it's not a very well implemented part of this game. So, if you cleverly solve a case, and you find all the evidence and think it should be much more XP for stuff like that, so that you can start buffing out your character... Uh, to make sure that when you get into combat, it's not the end of the world, you know. Just reminded of something. Yeah, Pillars of Eternity 2 is on sale. That, honestly, is a lot more interesting to me than... Um, Pillars of Eternity 1, which was already interesting to me, so I'm kind of like chomping at the bit to play that game. I, I really want to get into some isometric top-down RPGs. I haven't played, like, I never played the original Fallouts. I never played, uh... So first off, let me see what supplies we have. What can we... Well, we're kind of screwed here, guys. I may have to rely on hand grenades for these... Jerks! What the hell is this? You cannot build here. It's cursed. Cursed. The sky smote the carpenters for their sins. You cannot build a church in this place. Oh, look at that. Good. Let this place be our legacy. May the horror that befell the carpenters be forgotten. And hope take its place. Essay quam videri. I should start studying some Latin. It's, uh, I can understand why they used to teach it in school. Um, if you know Latin, it's very easy to pick up on all the roots for, uh, romance languages. And you Make start you to realize... Reverend, I implore you. I lost everything to this fire. My house, my family. No need to recite every single bloody name. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Make it quick, Reverend, I implore you. I lost everything to this fire. My house, my family. No need to recite every single bloody name. Good. Let this place be our legacy. You cannot build here. It's cursed. I don't think that's correct. Cursed. The sky smote the carpenters for their sins. You cannot build a church in this place. The old carpenter manor stood here centuries ago oh. until a fire destroyed it and killed most of the family. Ah. The church was built over the ruin. Sanity's dropping a little bit. Let's just uh, look at something nice, like the sun. Praise the sun a little bit for a few minutes to calm the fuck back down. Alright, now... God damn it, you guys don't waste any time, do you? That's right! That's how we do it in the old country. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. One thing I do like about this sort of uh, system, it seems to uh, uh, save whatever you do regardless. Which, I'm, there was another game I played recently that, oh, <laughs> Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey has this sort of system where it's like, there's not really saves. Um, but sometimes, like, 
I don't know. It doesn't save what you do uh, before you die, right, in a level. Because there's, you know, it basically only saves when you complete tasks. So it doesn't save what you do in a level, right? But it it saves whatever resources you've expended trying to do it. So for a game developed by Warren Spector, who is always like, like, oh, I want players to experiment and I want them to try new things out. It discourages trying new things out because once you've tried X number of things and then you die and you respawn, you have no resources, so you can't try anything anymore. You're totally screwed. Um, Epic Mickey has some weird difficulty curves. It's actually, honestly, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It's not a hard game. It's just a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm not really excited for the next few stages coming up, but we'll get through it. Man, look at that. Well, first off, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to craft... No, I can't craft one of those, but... So I almost have full revolver ammo. 4440 should do... Let me just look that cartridge up real quick. That should do a hell of a lot more damage than that thing has been doing. Forty-four, forty, four and forty grain. Oh, Their diameter, shoulder diameter, base diameter. I mean, it's sort of comparable to a 44 mag, so it should be doing more damage. You know, it should be like sort of a, a nice fallback, heavy damage dealing weapon. I don't know why it's so anemic. Um, could just be the enemy type I used it on. But anyways, we're gonna make sure we have a decent amount of ammo for this. Oh, or screwed. All right, well, let's just screw, do that one. What I was saying earlier, yeah, I can understand why they used to teach Latin in school, uh, especially in Western civilization, because honestly, the more Latin you learn, um, the, and then you start learning Romance languages, the more you realize that they're all essentially the same language. They just uh, spell and pronounce things slightly differently, but a lot of the the linguistic rules between languages and the Romance languages are all the fucking same. Can't carry anymore. Traps and a spring. So... Well, my health is... Okay, so I'm not going to craft another med kit right now. So we know that there's another spring up here. Okay. And if that spawns some more monsters, I'm going to get right angry. Come on. Come on out. Let's party. Look at that thing. That's just horrific. Yeah, so they clearly don't worship Christ or the Virgin Mary or anything like that. They worship these weird uh, underwater monstrosities. But yeah, I mean, so the more Latin you know, uh, and then, you know, reading old Roman stuff or, or quotes in Roman and things like that, very famous quotes in Roman, they all begin to make sense. Yeah, there's this thing behind the cross. I think that's the real thing that they're worshiping, some sort of triangle. Like I said, guys, watch the void. Whatever the hell that is. This is a very good Lovecraftian video game. In fact, this might actually be my favorite Lovecraftian video game ever made this far. Why are they all the same thing? There should be one that's like Dagon, one that's something else, you know. I like how as your sanity's coming back, it still does pretty hardcore things and you're like, hey, my sanity's coming back. Why are you chill? Why are you, why are you freaking out? Note from the church. Hilda failed to seduce the mayor with promises of eternal life. Now we need some mercury spilled in his bedroom to make our proposals more attractive. I heard, I heard goopiness. Ooh. 
drop note. Our devoted members in the police department attracted two more officers to our ranks. We must prepare them for a meeting with our fecund mother, the great daughter of the Lord of the Woods, the Woodsy Lord. Beezy fools, ye man's flesh. Beezy hammers. Okay, looking good so far. Let's loot this place blind. Shell casings, gunpowder, just what I need to make more ammunition. Another thing about a classical education that's nice is, you know, like, if you actually start looking into the Roman Empire, it's kind of oh, fucking amazing what they achieved spell. and what they built. Like you dead skunk. Which means that they were the height of civilization for hundreds, if not thousands of years, and they moved on a lot of the base problems that hu humanity is sort of faced with in survival situations. They had moved on to that to worry about more abstract things like ethics and philosophy and things like that. And I think it's... So basically, a lot of the societal problems that... Uh-oh, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, recording just stopped. Had to s start a fresh one. So a lot of the societal problems that we face today and political problems and all these things were faced by the Roman Empire because they basically had a functioning civilization um, that was the height of technology, the height of philosophy, the height of culture for, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And so as sort of Razor Fist sort of pointed this out uh, as he was talking about Cicero, um, there are a lot of great orators and thinkers from that period in history that it's it's worth analyzing their works because they can help us navigate i mean you think the founding fathers didn't have uh, of, of the united states didn't have sort of a classical education a lot of their writings were based on um philosophical and political underpinnings that were established by you know great thinkers of not just the roman empire but i mean it's worth like any any great civilization i think it's worth analyzing what their people were talking about or doing and how it reflects on the general human condition. Um, so I think the benefits of a classical education expose you to that stuff. I had never heard of Cicero in my entire life until Razorfist brought it up. And I was a little dismayed by that because I felt that I had a good education, but pff, we barely covered any of that stuff. So yeah, this all goes back to learning Latin and why I think it's important, especially if you're planning on learning uh, Romance languages, I think learning, like, if you want to learn multiple romance languages, Latin is a, is a great place to start. I mean, you don't have to, like, speak it fluently, but start studying it. The roots, the, the, the rules, um, all of the linguistic sort of mechanics of Latin will make learning the other languages easier to the point where it's just sort of like, all you have to do is memorize the new vocab, which is really easy. I don't think it's Something as simple as that, but it's it's close. Bad. I mean, when you start actually, like the similarities between French and Spanish and Italian, for example, are just uncanny. Priest's diary: I burned the seductive witch, my daughter, her cursed seed, but she came back. How long will this will the Almighty test my faith? She is here, laughing at my weakness. Her body is not hers anymore. It is the filthy goat's womb, the breeder of the devil's spawn. Damn! She is mine, my blood, my treasure. Now neither the devil nor filthy men may touch her, for I have smitten her sinful flesh, mixed her beauty with dust. How could it be? How? She came back, born by the sinful hole in her body, tur her body her turned to. She whispers to me, promising we'll be together always. They hanged me, their father, but not for long. That night I was born again by my dear daughter. Well, I... See, I haven't read every Lovecraft story, so I don't know what the fuck they're referencing here. But this is some, chewed this one this up some satanic weird-ass shit. Alright, so we're, we're in the... We got the keys now. Oh, fantastic! Fancy another dive, gents. Shape and ready to use. 
Ah, this is in good shape. I'm ready to use. I, okay, I guess we're not going to have to go for a dive just yet, but uh, don't worry. It won't be long. Can't carry any more springs. Okay, so we know this. I hear something. I think maybe there's a case to solve up. Yeah, okay. Alright. So I was like, I hope there's not more monsters. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Okay. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn. Brothers and sisters! Take them to the crematorium. We'll destroy them before we dive. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. I think it's just an order of elevation at this point, to be honest. That's the best I can make of the this. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb. Pretty much make sure you get be. every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Take them to the crematorium. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. A group of fanatics. I believe this is redemption it. Church. Got rid of several bodies, took all the documents they could, and dived. Okay, sanity's taking a little hit. Just need to chill out for a second. So I didn't get all the evidence yet. It's a cult, not a church. The records taken by the cultists are my only hope to, of discovering who betrayed Brutus. Okay. Okay. The answers may be underwater. But if chaos they are! Because I have to brave this spooky depths. So yeah, pretty, uh, the plot thickens, pretty interesting stuff. I'm just surprised how many more story missions we have coming up. I'm just hoping some of them are a little bit quicker because we, I mean, at this point, I think with all the playthroughs, this is playthrough part three. They've been about three, four hours each and uh, we're getting up to like 12, 15 hours, somewhere in there. And it's like, okay, it's supposed to be, oh God. If the Lord of the Woods, let the Lord of the Woods as your eyes guide you. Well, okay, so I guess we're going to be looking for some blue light. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for flares light your way and can distract hostile. If damage holds slow to cover your diving suit's pressure. Well, well, shit. I think this is the way. But the azure eyes of the woodsy word guide you. Okay. <laughs> I 
woodsy lord. I keep because yeah, I've been playing Thief Gold, so a lot of trickster things like that. Quite frankly, my friends, I don't know what to do. Seem to be trapped here. As your eyes, I don't see any blue lights or anything like that. Turn my light off. Guys, I have no fucking clue. Oh. Like I said, this game likes to keep it, uh, mix it up and keep it interesting. You know, it's one of the things I liked about the... What the hell was that? One of the things I liked about the Sherlock Holmes games, too. Oh, Jesus Christ, what in the hell is... Did you see that giant squid? Oh, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's not worry about the horrifying things that live down here. Let's not think about it. Oh, yoy, yoy. This place is so... Oh, what the... Okay, well, I guess we can't fall through the cracks. <sighs> that was kind of bullshit. But we'll deal with it. We'll we'll figure it out. Make sure we're recording. Yeah, we're record, we're recording on all fronts right now, so we're good to go. Just curious. I'm gonna look something up real quick while we're waiting for this. Uh... Alright, let's press on. Okay, I don't know where we are now. We need to go this way. 
Gotta watch out for those vents, I guess. Alright, let's repressurize our suit. There seems to be some sort of awful sea creature over there. Fantastic. So, what do I got? Let's use this. Oh, leave me alone! I said leave me alone! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, let's go. Run, dude! Just, oh, fucking, don't worry about the fish, just go. I shot a fucking thing. Just leave me alone, fish. Yeah, that fish. All right, we'll try this again. If I remember last time, we didn't have to go through all the, the dive stuff to get back. So it's, there's sort of like little mini challenges. I think I lucked out the last time I did it too. Now it's supposed to be distracted by the flares. I think it was more pissed at me for shooting it, but then shooting it is supposed to do something. It says it's supposed to stun it, so we'll see. I don't know. We'll see, my friends. in my suit. Can we change the difficulty in case this becomes like an exercise in frustration? So we're going to try distracting it this time. That might be the better part of Valor at this point, is to just distract the damn thing. First of all, we're going to turn our light off, so it doesn't notice us. Or did I just hear it over there? Just go! Just go, buddy, go! Fucking move it, that thing's fucking an asshole. Also, we're going to switch to this just in case he wants to party. I think once again I just lucked out here. I don't think that pff, that's how they intended the mechanics to be for this kind of stuff. Um, so once again when you die, like for some reason you just get like resurrected uh, because everything that happened prior to your death still has happened. So that's why I only had to fight off two of those invisible Silent Hill monsters in the church because I had already killed one. Um, damn, dude, this game is so like for Frogwares. Seriously, like I'm not saying that the the Sherlock Holmes games were like small scale. Well, okay, they were small scale, but I'm not saying they're bad games. Or there's anything wrong with them. They are phenomenal games, but the scale and scope of this game is just insane compared to the like they really poured their hearts and souls into this. So. Um, I hope I helped give it some exposure because I think they did a really good job and I'm pretty impressed with what's going on here. Can't carry any more ammo. 44, 40 cartridge. Let's 
go to my inventory. Let's craft. Ah, oh, come on, man. I mean, every time you go into a new area, it's just, it's so detailed and, like, loving it. Like, look at all this detail and stuff, you know? And again, it's an indie middle market studio. This, these are the things that you have to keep in mind. Why are you here? This. You look like a fresh wound. Yeah, well, you're no oil painting yourself, fella. Imbecile. Strike us down and many more will rise. Fresh from the feckin' mother's womb. Slick, naked, yet burgeoning with strength. Our eyes infest this city. Our hands, too. We fill young Graham with our words. And soon he will be hollow. What was that about young Graham? His house is divided. I cannot stand. The young will secede the old as new shoots rise from decay. Our growth shall choke the sun. The veins we open will see crimson blossoms. The feckin' mother grants new life. You should have stayed above. Yeah, we'll feed the daughter of the woods so she devours the weak. La Shub Nigarath. A mortal man is allowed to touch the womb of life. La, a mortal man is allowed to be reborn in a new form. La, a mortal man will gain a thousand faces, a thousand eyes, a thousand lessons. Oh, damn. I shot you in the head, buddy. Twice! Go to hell! How do I kill this damn thing? Shit. Maybe I kill all the prayers? Seems a bit brutal, but whatever. Let's give it a shot. They're good, honest folk. Really. What the hell is this? Dude, fuck you, man. What an asshole.
fucking bitch. Dude, fuck this boss. How many times do I have to kill it, hit this stupid thing for it to die? And the fact that it's a one-shot kill to the player every time one of those things goes off near you is fucking horseshit. I mean, there's a strategy to, to keep it... Um, doable, we'll just see. I don't know. And these load times, you know, this is the, this is a thinking man's sort of methodical game, and to have this kind of shit in this kind of game just pisses me off, really, you know. Um, it I hate dying over and over again with a bunch of loading screens, and it's just like, okay, am I doing better this time? Am I doing worse? What's going on? I don't know, you know. Um, I don't know how many times I have to throw it in. I don't know if I'm making any effect or if what I'm doing is having any effect. It may blow up near it and just piss it off or, or you know, it may have to wait till its mouth opens to throw one of those stupid things in. I have no idea. God, what is... Just fucking die. Really? Fuck you. Yeah, see fucking Jesus Christ. What the fucking fuck? God damn it! Fuck this game! Seriously! Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna put this on easiest fucking, like, just, like, baby's first video game fucking difficulty because this is just pissing me off now. Fuck this shit. Seriously. Like, it's not that difficult. It's just that, you know, I just want to get it done. So, yeah, if something is close to me, I'm going to run towards it. But it's just like, oh, no, don't worry. You're going to fucking die if you do that because there's a million fucking things. Are... Ugh, this sucks. Like, I hate when games do this. They, they're just like, yeah, it's very slow, methodical gameplay. There's not a lot of action. Is and then out of, no, out of left field, they're just like, now here's a fucking boss fight. You have to run around like crazy and, like, dodge things and blow them. And it's like, why? Why do I have to do this now? The game was not like this. Now all of a sudden you're forcing me into this, and I can't progress without doing this stupid shit. Fucking hate this shit in games. It's not a bad game. It's just like I don't know why developers are just like we have to have a boss fight now. Shh, just fucking I. Well, personally, I hate. I've always hated boss fights. Um, but uh, this is just takes. It doesn't take the cake. But I mean, it's just it's just obnoxious, you know. And I'm almost feeling like I'm going to have to end this part of the let's go here because I just don't want to deal with this shit right now. So first off, options, settings, difficulty.
same fucking shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Maybe that was significant, like I had beaten the boss or something, but no, the game just decided to freeze me in place. Do I have to do this? <laughs> Fucking! <sighs> All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play this part anymore. I'm gonna look up like a walkthrough or something. Cause fuck this shit. Like seriously. If, if I'm gonna get stuck at this shit in this fucking video game, fuck this fucking game. Seriously. Nothing in the game has been like this so far. This is horseshit. How many times do I have to hit the fucking thing? Am I doing any damage? Uh, and I didn't even see or hear one next to me when it did that. It just fucking killed me instantaneously. It's a one-hit kill on every difficulty. What the fuck, dude? Seriously, so I think that's going to be it for right now, guys. Uh, I'll check back in and see if I can uh, do another part of this recording, but I'm just super fucking pissed off at this shit right now. Okay, guys, so uh, sorry you guys missed it, but I just killed the fucking thing. Um, a better strategy, because it shoots them out a little farther, was to just run, run around a little bit closer. Um, and I wasn't doing anything differently than I was doing before. I was just running closer to the thing. So that was it. Uh, we are back. I'm sorry you guys missed that part. If you want to look up how to kill that boss, um, just it's online. So we're going to, we're going to proceed a little bit further, but I just want to, like, I was pissed. I needed to get that, like, out of my way. Let's finish up this investigation. You know what? Fuck it. Let's start another one. So we didn't need to kill those people. Let's reload all our weapons. Okay. Yeah, as I was doing, like, here's the thing. The thing that pisses me off is I was one pod away in most of the attempts I did on camera I was one pod away from killing the stupid thing um, another thing I forgot to do was use this against people and or things if they get too close to me and realize that the little guys don't do a ton of damage but those pod the pods when they blow up do so you really got to be careful there well made pricey a letter from the church. Thus far, Brutus has refused the gifts of the Lord of the Wood and the Fecund Mother. This is our chance to change Oakmont once and for all. Help Graham, the son, to get rid of his father, and all of the streets of the city shall be open for us. If Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do.
That's a familiar smell. Like your dead skunk. Got anything to eat? I'm... I'm hungry. Uh, are you my mommy? What you Where's making, my kid? mommy? Well, I guess the Fekin mother's been dealt with. Alright, let's go to the Mind Palace. Okay, churchgoers want Brutus to be cremated. The church control Graham. The cult will try to use Graham to grow their power base in Oakmont. Graham is the one who tried to take Bruce's place as the head of the family. Who continue as always, murder will just be the start. Graham will become nothing more than a puppet, his strings pulled like Graham, will, Graham is able to resist the cults he made. He's made of stronger stuff than we think. I think I should help Graham. He seems like a pretty noble dude, and I don't think he's a pushover. He got his face blown off leaping out of a foxhole to help his buddy in World War I. Um, I think he can deal with the threats of the cultists. I, I don't think he's going to be under their control. But uh, the other guy, he was just seeking eternal life with the help of the cult. This is a little more cut and dry than the last decision we had to make. And it depends, you know, it's like, it depends on the viewpoints of the developers, too. What's cut and dry and what's not. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to craft more med kits. Oh, I guess I only used one. Oh, I found an extra one in the thing. Can't craft another one of those. 5 out of 8, 12 out of 12, okay, craft it all we can, and I don't think we have to go back through the diving maze, I think it just takes us back out. You gonna get the bends, son. Well, I'm glad that's behind us. I hope there's not too many other fucking boss fights like that in this game, although I'm sensing that this is just going to be the beginning, and that just already pisses me off. Okay. Something's chewed this one up. Right, we got bad. everything we need here. But oh, 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 we never searched that trunk. And we need to finish searching this one because it's got coil springs, shell casing. I can't carry any more coil springs. Are you serious? Well, whatever. Let's just research everything because I think the game's freaking out. It's like, well, I guess he didn't search here before. Um. So let's just get everything that we can. Because we need a bunch of supplies. Alright, what's our XP looking like? Three knowledge points. Good. So first off, I want that extra health. And I would like to do more melee damage. It would be nice to carry more ammo, but since I don't have the battle rifle yet, let's go over here. Grenades increased range, grenades increased damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. So I think we're gonna wanna get that route at some point. Now for right now,
That's pretty... That's pretty badass. I don't know which to get. You know what? We're not going to get him right now. We have... Max health, max XP generation. Uh, that should help us in the short term. Let's go ahead and save, too. Not that this game doesn't have a very generous autosave, but still. Got some alcohol. So we're gonna go help Graham. Cause I don't trust his father. Seems like a piece of shit. And Graham seems like a decent sort. And they're in... Where is it? Here we go, Old Grove. Gotta go straight down this street and then take a right and get to the manor. I think that's my employer right there. Yeah, honestly, that boss fight was just stupid. Now, honestly, it wasn't hard once I just adjusted the strategy ever so slightly, but still, it shouldn't even be in the game. you tried to kill your father what? what are you talking about I know all about your plan I have proof just level with me I I knew you weren't just a worker look I'm not proud of what I did he's my father but he was a terrible terrible man crime has always been my family's business I want to change that I want to help people but he will never stand for it. So that's how it is. My father sent you here. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I'm Charles Reed. I can change this city, Mr. Reed. But to do that, I must be the head of the Carpenter family. I need to have that influence. I'll pay you if you need. But please, listen to your conscience. Brutus will not change. He harms so many, he must die. Actually, I do need something. In exchange, can you smuggle a man out of the city? Ah, I can. If that's what you want, I'll arrange everything. Yeah, you're right. You can count me in. Thank you. Just kind of flying by the seat of my right pants choice, here, but Mr. I didn't like Brutus. I didn't like his Goodbye. whole thing. I don't believe that he's trying to be a better man. Um, I believe this guy is. And I don't believe he's uh, co-opted by the cult. Where is Brutus? Okay. We agree that Brutus Carpenter must die and Grandma's takes place as the head of the family. The records taken by the cultists are my only hope of discovering who betrayed Brutus.
What you making, kid? Took up residence in a house on Comshore Street between Seven Oaks Street and Skipper Road in Western Salvation Harbor, even though he's right here. All right, so place on map Western Salvation Harbor on Com. Okay, so first song Salvation Harbor West. Uh, Comshore Street between Seven Oaks and Skipper Road. Comshore Street. Seven Oaks. Skipper Road. Yeah, this is, this is it. And I can just fast travel there, so that's what we're doing. I thought this was Brutus, though. What you making, kid? I guess not. Well, I don't know if I made the right decision. I may have missed out on a few details, but I just feel like Graham seems to be a better person, and he seems, I would guess that he's going to be able to resist the allure of the cult, whereas his father is only concerned with um, prolonging it, and I think that was Brutus, that's his father. Alright, so we're going to go down to Salvation Harbor. Fast travel over here. Okay. Just gonna keep heading down this way till we get to the place. I think I remember the place. I think this is it, yeah. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. The blood dried not too long ago. Whoa! What gives? I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now, I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you. You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. 
I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. First, I want to know what your plans are for when you resume as head of the family. Everything will go back to how it was before. Tradition exists for a reason, kid. Besides, it's none of your damn business. You know, I met your son. I think it's time for a change in leadership. God damn it. Alright, I know what I'm gonna do now. I'm throwing a fucking grenade. Like I said, I think this game has a little too much emphasis on combat for its own good. Also, weird thing, and I'm, I need to investigate this more because I, I work in power sources. So, um, so my lithium-ion battery, it's fairly new. It's only a few months old, I'd say, since January. Yeah, January or December, somewhere around there. And... Um, of 2019 December or January 2020 and um, so get it it'll get to fully charge but sometimes it doesn't want to charge sometimes it'll get to fully charged and then I'll plug it in and then it'll be like oh it's got zero charge and my previous lithium-ion battery lasted a long ass fucking time and in fact I'm not even sure this isn't my old one now what happened was I took it out and I looked for swelling so I was looking around it and then I sort of pressed on it to, to be like okay is there significant like tension or pressure and I pressed on my battery and um, I pressed on my battery and uh, I put some pressure on it and this happened with one of my other lithium ion batteries too that was like just not charging at all but that was that one was old as shit and it was expanding and all sorts of stuff so um, anyways I pressed on my little uh, Microsoft lithium ion charger pack thing and uh, sort of massaged it a little bit and I plugged it back in because I was just, I didn't think the massaging would help. I was just checking for things, but I put some pressure on it and that worked and it worked on my other battery too. And now whenever one of my charge packs is acting up, I just massage it a little bit. Oh shit. Well, fuck you dude. That's, that's the only gun I got right now. Like I said, this game's very good about saving most of what you've done. So I guess they already know I'm a traitor. <laughs> he got clipped by the fucking door. Damn.
All right, I took out his dad, and I, I thought his dad was the guy living in the house. Maybe he was living a double life, trying to act like, oh, I'm just a poor old man, but uh, I think it was the same fucking dude. I don't know. But uh, this is why you have to... This is why, kids, when you play a game, it's better to just play it as, you know, kind of like sequentially and just finish it as soon as possible. Don't sit on it too long because you forget important details as to what you're doing and why. Yeah, accidentally took antipsychotics instead of whatever else. Alright, so let's, first of all, so we're not constantly getting the fucking, like, oh, you don't have enough, or you, you have too many. Okay, I have three of those now. Can't craft any more of that. Alright, yeah, now we should... Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. Two coil springs, good. Fully stocked on med kits, fully stocked on antipsychotics. Can't carry anymore. I don't even know what that is. Alright, let's look at our case book here. Fathers and Sons still not done yet. Okay, just gotta talk to Graham, tell him his father's dead, and then we can do the next case. Let's go down here, see if there's any crates we haven't looted yet. Excuse me? Nothing in there? I mean, once I confronted, uh, Brutus, uh, yeah, he was a piece of shit, so I don't feel bad about my decision, but I, I am worried that what's-his-face may be, it may be possible to co-opt him. Well for whoever lost all this blood. Into the cult, but also he seems like a sort of stronger sort than that. The last decision I made in this game was a lot tougher, I'll tell you that. Okay, alright, so... Let's go to inventory. Well, first of all, let's go to skills. 109? Didn't we get any fucking XP for killing all those fuckers? I guess not. some fucking grenades at some point here but anyways let's check our thing here key evidence collected what else didn't I collect I can't imagine it ended well this stain's almost gone there we go So we're just going to run up here, and we're going to go back to Mansion, and then we're going to go to Mr. Throgmorton and see what our next assignment is. Oh. The raging waters will swallow the earth. Stupid Lovecraftian monster, get over here! Let's 
go no it's here oh yeah Alright, let's go tell our friend the good news that his dad is fucking dead. Like I said, I love the dynamic night and day and weather system in this game. It is, yeah, it's down this street. If this guy's still here, then this was the wrong guy. Okay, this was not the right person, but whatever. Brutus was a piece of shit. I didn't like him. Right, I think it was revelatory towards the end that he was uh, not going to be a stand-up person. Your father is dead, Mr. Carpenter. You're the head of the family now. This brings me no joy, but thank you. You made the right choice. A noble choice, despite... What it entailed. I had to kill my father twice. I had to ask you to stain your hands too. But the guilt isn't yours. I take the blame entirely. It's all right, Mr. Carpenter. Now, will you help me? Of course I will. I'm in your debt. Thank you once again. Goodbye. I made the necessary arrangements for Fred's escape. Now it's time to get answers to my question. The last time we met Fred was in the basement of the fish market. All right. I mean, it adds to the immersion that you have to do all this backtracking and walking here, you know, hither and yon, but uh, it does get a little obnoxious. Like I said, it just kind of pads out the game's length. Also, the, the systems are... The mechanics and systems are not... They're less complicated than I would have imagined, but they're not simple. And so, um, a, a, another big part of the game is just kind of like getting, excuse me, Ugh. getting your bearings and like knowing what to do or how to do it. Uh, so, fish market is in the shells, I believe. Yeah, that's the fish market. And there we go. <clears throat> ah, okay. Doors that can be opened are marked with a special hobo sign. That makes sense. I'm gonna wait for that texture to pop in. All right, where we go? <laughs> we go back in. Last quest just to talk to someone in one of these rooms. It's done, Fred. The carpenters will be getting in touch soon. Now, do you have something for me? Oh, perfect. 
All right, listen up. I've arranged a meeting with a certain high-ranking member of the EOD. His name is Ebenote Blackwood. I haven't had the pleasure. Anything I should know about him? Ebenote is a preacher at the fish market and a high-ranking priest within the order. Very knowledgeable and very dangerous if you cross him. So I recommend that you don't cross him. Follow me so far? Gotcha. Keep talking. If the order knows something, it's a good bet that Ebenote does too. If they have your professor, he knows where she's being kept. I'll give you the address of the meeting place. He'll be expecting me, not you. So keep your wits about you. All right. Thanks, Fred. Good luck and safe travels. Thanks. I need it. Nice. Let's check our skills, knowledge points too, and we're close to a third knowledge point. So, uh, I kind of want to get into some of this stuff. If I do, if I grab these two, see this I don't care about as much. This could be okay. Sorry, excuse me. Let's go back. And vigor, yeah, we do need more med kits. We could use more grenades, more uh, ammo, but we're pretty good here, and I think we're done in this area. Uh, sanity isn't that much of an issue, quest rewards are not as much of an issue, chance to save materials when crafting, 10% to save materials when crafting, 15 to save materials when crafting, first aid. Uh, I mean, I guess those in conjunction means that there's a pretty good chance. Nah. This isn't as important, to be honest. Um, these are more important. More ammo. And uh, better damage. Uh, faster revolver reload, not super important. Double damage would be nice with the revolver, but it's not super important. Additional shells in the shotgun is pretty good. Uh, damage and spread. I don't really care about spread, but damage for sure. Uh, mach Submachine gun accuracy. I don't even have it. I don't have this yet. So can't get these. So that, don't, let's not worry about them. Let's not worry about these. Let's not worry. Uh, these might be okay. Um, I don't really care about these for right now. This I kind of want. This I don't care about, but I want this and I want this. So, um, and then I want basically this one, this one, this one, this. I want all of these on the left side of Vigor. So, uh, let's sit on it a little bit because we're not in combat right now. So, Fred has managed to set up a meeting for me with. Evernote Blackwood, I need to keep in mind that Evernote will be expecting Fred instead of me. The meeting will take place in the Central Reed Heights at a flooded office on Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Okay, so we're going to pin evidence, we're going to mark our map. Central Reed and Sam Height. Okay, Central Reed Street, Sam Height. Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth and Oak. Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Central Reed Heights. Sam Reed Street between Oak Street, Innsmouth Road. Okay. Let's get the next story quest started so we're not wasting any time. I need. I need to find some more fast travel points.
Okay, what's the best route I can take? I can take a left and then go up Sam Reed Street and then follow Sam Reed Street till I get to the water. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. What the hell is that? So up extra, Sam Reed. Extra. All the news that's fit to print. Continue on Sam Reed. Looks like there should be way more people in this city than there are. This looks like sort of a sort of bustling metropolis. It does, and that's some excellent work right there. I was about to say, is that gonna pop in or what? And there we go. She popped in. So this is Sam Reed, and looks like this is a Tejeros. But we're gonna check it out anyways. We're just gonna... Oh shit, vamanos! Oh my god! Move! Move your ass! Jesus Christ! Jesus, let's go, let's go! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, alright, we're good, we're good! Everyone can just relax, and everything in there can die. I think this is pretty much it. Yes, sir. That's it. So you can craft anything. Ah, 15. It seems like so much in my inventory, but so little when I actually look at like magazines. God damn it! Get Ku Klux Klan, get clan members in here, fucking with my shit. God damn it! I shot you in the face, bitch. Why didn't you die? Like the some bitch you are. I didn't expect clansmen here. What the hell is this? Oh. A killer knew what he was doing. A clean strike and deep. Oh, I don't want to fucking follow the shadow monsters right now. I want to fucking get some health back and, like, recoup some of my ammo. That's what I... Oh, shit. Get out. Leave now. Note of warning. We have warned you. You will... S you s Yet you still return. This is our final message. Go back underwater or die. Reed Heights is under our protection. The police won't help you. No one will. Well, I mean, I guess if it's America at this point in history and everything like that, it kind of makes sense that the Ku Klux Klan or... A similar entity would be here. And yes, I can imagine, you know, if African Americans are human beings, but then Innsmouthers are actual fish people hybrids, they would not take too kindly to that. And they'd have major issues with that. So this is like kind of a tight, like, uh, uh, no brainer inclusion in this plot. Essentially says racism is going to be a major theme. It already is a major theme of this game right now. I can't carry any more springs. Alright, so what do I need? Well, first off... What? Hold up. What the fuck is this? When did I get this thing? Alright. Now I've got a fucking rifle. You all can suck it. Alright, so now that I've got the suck it rifle. Uh, skills are... Yeah. Well, 
that's so tempting. Oh, I don't know what to do. I kind of want these two because those are pretty good right now. Um, ay, ay, ay. All right, let's, let's calm down here, folks. I didn't even realize I had this thing. Okay, it's a one-shotter. And honestly, it looks like a Mazen Nagant. Sort of. Yeah, it looks like a Mazen Nagant. I think it is a Mazen Nagant. And that, even though the Mazen Nagant has an internal magazine, this for some reason is a one-shot thing. All right, so let's let's look in inventory what can we manufacture right now five of five eight of eight six of twelve nine of twelve can't manufacture any of that can't manufacture that so shit well actually we can so i need some more health right now and i'm gonna go ahead and do it take my little morphine addiction thing here and then we're gonna go ahead into our inventory and we're just gonna craft into the med kit, and now I'm gonna go to whatever fucking things that I needed to loot and I couldn't loot before. Yep, coil spring, thank you. I don't know, once again, I don't know why the coil spring is necessary, but... Alright, I'll do the thing. Yes. Okay, alright. Spooky vision, spooky vision, spooky vision. Grab the stairs, spooky vision. Grab here, spooky vision. CA the 24th, one saver will seal the gates, N-E-X, the, actually I don't know what M stands for in Roman numerals, I forgot, hundreds will fall while one succeeds, A-M-U, one, the will of one will break the cycle, for there can only be one, one to pass through. Got some gunpowder. Professor Doe, dear Professor Doe, I appreciate your quick response. It's unfortunate that meeting in person would implicate us both. Your hallucinations do indeed sound unusual in the asylum. Hacks wouldn't be able to make any sense of it, but I can. Just recently, I've read about a certain phenomenon that contains commonalities to these visions. At a later date, I will inform you about my findings. Keep me updated about any new fits you experience, and please stay safe. It is absolutely paramount that you do. Kind regards, E.B. I think that's Eirmon Blackwood or whoever we're supposed to meet. Ah, this is an Evernote. Evernote. That's the dude's name. Oh, the meeting was supposed to take place here. I forgot. So, it's kind of a shock that everyone's dead. Although it's not because it's on the waterways. Anything on the waterways is just fucking death, dude.
weird that I don't have the key evidence yet. You know what it is? Uh, it's waiting on me for, for me to find one thing and then it's gonna say like, oh, let's figure out what happened. That's all it's doing. This is an Evernote. Someone shot this place up good. 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 Yep, see, I just need one more piece of evidence, and then we're going to get to the thing over here. I surrender. Take me, and let my people leave. Okay, now let's go over here. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all... Imperial wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome in this part of town. Time to figure this out. I think it goes like this. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal. Maybe they'll finally get it. The Order ain't welcome in this part of town. The meeting place. Hey, we got it. Evernote was carried off while his escort's bodies were left as a warning. Key evidence? Is it not all evidence? Are you sure? There we go. Pretty sure we got all evidence. All right. Fantastic. EB. Many police and rehides fell under a well-organized assault. Everett Black was taken prisoner and his associates were massacred. The attackers did not fear the police and this obviously wasn't their first act. They were hoods and used knives. Apparently they are trying to keep Innsmouthers away from the right side of tracks. I miss the blues, the Silent Hill blues coming in. Fell under a well. Okay, right side of the engine. Hmm. I guess we'll try and, well first of all, let's go over to the rest of the heights here. Let's try and unlock some new fast travel points.
You ready for that texture popping, kids? There we go. Fuck happened there. I didn't even know that was possible. So we're gonna look around for some fast travel points extra, here. Extra. It's a little ridiculous that we don't have more. Especially for this area. Ain't my problem. What in the fuck is this place? Looks like a National Guard headquarters or something. And there better be a fast travel point around here. It's a little ridiculous how how sparsely spaced out these fucking fast travel points are. It's just... I need to find one. out of here. Not fighting any fucking elephant monsters right now. It's not what I'm here for. I didn't sign up for this shit. God damn. There we go. That's not even where I want. I, that's not even in Reed Heights. It's in fucking Advent, but whatever. It's Advent North. Okay. So where do I want to go? Shit, I totally forgot. Okay, I want to go to the newspaper, I think. Which is in cover side, so we want to go here. I'm gonna look up anything about the attackers. Uh, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see if. Uh, can uncover any information about these guys.
Alrighty, let's check out the records here. So. Period. Uh, well, okay. Current events, district. I think we're going to go to the police station instead of the newspaper. Yeah, I made a miscalculation. We need to go to the police department. So we're just going to take her right up here. Oh, got to start a new recording. in the police archives if I can remember here we go archives right in here crimes we're gonna go with violent crimes instruments of crime hoods and use knives printing in smothers district There we go. Case felony lynching suspects Z H Comstock C Borshoff unidentified accomplices confirm victims eight males with Innsmouth syndrome. Status closed by public demand. Category homicide. District Reed Heights, December 9th. Suspects apprehended at the Orion Club, St. Michael's Road, South University Street, Central Advent. Ties to KKK confirmed. Well, we already figured that out. December of case closed by public demand. Suspects release. Let's find this Orion Club. Central Advent. St. Michael's Road, south of University Street. Here's University Street, St. Michael's Road. Here's south. All right. I love this music and I think honestly it kind of conveys what this game is trying to be it's it's LA Noir meets Silent Hill that's the best most oh, I totally missed it that's the simplest distillation I can give you for what this game is um, I think it's more complex than that But ultimately, it's Silent Hill meets L.A. Noir. 
or Silent Hill meets the... Uh, Gameplay-wise, it's less in common with Ellie Noir. It's more like the Sherlock Holmes games. But I mean, at least the feel they're going for. So, Central Advent. <clears throat> Honestly, I love this soundtrack. I think it's great. I think we went past the Orion Club once. So we're gonna wanna take a right down St. Botolf's, Botolf's Road over to St. Mary's. We need a street sign. St. Botolf's Road. I guess it was St. Michael's. I misread that. I knew we were gonna come here at some point. The Orion Gentlemen's Club. Let's avail ourselves of some services. Or not, Jesus Christ. I thought there was going to be hot bitches in here and not dead people in love. Ah, god damn it. All right, get over here. Let's fucking rock, bitch. Probably for the best. Led to death. What's going on here? Well, the Aryans seem to have had a little squid party. The door won't budge. God damn, dude. All right. Let me get my shotgun out. Nice! Skills. Knowledge points 3. 32 out of 1,000. Uh, that could be nice. We need more ammo. And we need more combat proficiency. Shit, what do I do? What do we do, guys? <sighs> I want this one, but I don't even have explosives right now. I'm just gonna keep sitting on my skill points. That's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna keep sitting on him. Okay, burning things at the cross. It's a little different than burning people or burning crosses on people's lawns. It's a little better. Some improvement, I guess. I will talk to him in a second. I just want to make sure we 
grabbed everything in here. Let's go over to our inventory. Rags? Like you've been run over, pal. What happened? What does it look like? It was that damned prisoner. You mean Evernote, the preacher? I don't know. We didn't exchange business cards. One of the order. And I'm just a guard. I need a rest. And a stiff drink. So is there anyone around here who knows what's going on? Go ask the wizard. Upstairs. Is it... Is it getting dark in here? Looks like they got you pretty good. Oh, you don't say, newcomer. <sighs> I'm not gonna leave somebody to die. No matter how much they deserve it. Oh, thank you. I won't forget this. I think I can make it to the hospital now. Here, take my ammo. Okay, I got some 12 gauge shells from him. I'm down a med kit, but I'm gonna go in my inventory and make a new one, and then uh, hopefully there's enough salvage around here to make up for it, and I can't. <clears throat> KKK orders. Evernote Blackwood is behind on his rent. There have been enough warnings. Send men to make an example of his operation. Make it look good for the newspapers. They are fish faces after all. P.S. See what he was up to while you're at it. If Blackwood's trustworthy, I'm gosh darn Teddy Roosevelt.
Ah, that's why. Nice! That was efficiently done. Very nicely done. Very efficiently taken care of. Sorry I've been so quiet, guys. I've been sort of enraptured by the game. Thank you, funny Blackwood. A confession. A little one. Write it down while you've still got fingers. Alright, so we've got monstrosities that they faced off against. Look at these things. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. Some fucked up torture tools. Confession, I, Ebernet Blackwood, am innocent. My only goal is to save the city from its descent into madness and ensure the safety of Harriet Doe. He must be in love with her. Must be some reason of the correspondence with Professor Dill. What in the fuck is this? That is not normal. You're goddamn right, it's not normal. Nothing in this house is normal. Anything needs to be. We just need rags to craft that, but we have. Okay. Oh, cause sorry, I had to use around. Yeah. Okay. I had to use around. Um, but now I know where to shoot those assholes. It's a shotgun for the the uh, Silent Hill dudes. That takes them out in one shot. Um, if you hit them in the weird bubbly gut parts. you. No, come here. Get back here, little bitch. Oh my god! That's right. Ah. Oh. Nice. That always freaks me out, the, the disintegration sound. Anyways. The door won't budge. Let's get it open. Now we have free reign over this apartment building. And whatever the hell is up here. Don't worry. Nice! Bunch of XP. And I barely lost any health. Very nice, very expertly done. We're gonna go ahead and save, just in case. Okay. Really? Still? Okay. Alright. Well, anyways. The door won't budge. But if chaos it won't. Let's 
go back through this place. Make sure all the monsters are dead. Make sure we got all the evidence. There's a bunch of stuff down here I didn't get to check out. Thank you. Holy shit, that's just a gift that keeps on giving. God damn. Ah! Alright, well, maybe not giving that much, but still, I've got ample supplies to craft whatever I need. Um, and I'm starting to rethink some of those ammo restriction skills at this point. Basement. Fuck. It's bound to be some horrible. Well, we've already been in the basement. And it was this asshole that we saved. With our commitment to principles, because we're trick. Also, I gotta say, I just found out that Trekkies are a, like, cult in um, Cyberpunk 2077, and I am absolutely. Uh, going to be a member of the Trekkie clan or cult or whatever it is. I think that sounds hilarious and fun. It's going to be pretty cool, so. Alright, let's go in this floor, see if there's a way up. Look for holes in the ceiling. Well, there's one. It doesn't really help us. Oh, come on, man. Rise above. There we go. That not normal. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. So one problem is that sometimes they'll put a note over a key, so you'll read the note and be like, okay, I swiped everything from there, and then you didn't realize that there's something underneath it. Just put them in two separate spots, then I won't be like, oh, I got it. Clearly the nickel key goes for this door. Hey. You can't just waltz in here. This club is off limits to non-members, especially you damn newcomers. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? The club is a blasted war zone. I've got wounded here, and we're all on edge. Who are you, anyway? Charles Reed, private investigator. I'm looking for one of your recent, uh, guests. Right, you mean that bloody preacher from the fish market? This is all his fault. He was the one who summoned those beasts. Summon them. <laughs> You're kidding me. How did he pull that off? Pull that off? Do I look like some rotten fish faced warlock to you? How should I know? He just did! And all in all that commotion he escaped. Was the preacher's name Ebernote by any chance? That's the one. We've been hunting down that slimy drock for weeks. Oh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. And why bother? What's so special about him? He's a pain in the ass, is what? That man doesn't have any respect for the way things are done around here. Huh. This should be good. So what did he do to cross you, exactly? Look around. This place is crawling with wild beasts. It's obvious he's up to no good. We'd never have known a thing about it if he wasn't behind in his damned rent. Rent.
rent. Oh, don't tell me you jokers are landlords now. It's no joke. You know how it is. Reed Heights, Advent, Old Grove. Dangerous places without the right kind of protection. If I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like a protection racket to me. Your words, not mine. Besides, our group's gotta get funding somehow. Robes and ammunition aren't cheap. Did anyone see where he went? I bet good money he went back to his hideout. I'll go after him. But I have to take care of my wounded men first. So, you gonna tell me where he is? It's your life, buddy. The scouts I sent after him never came back. Who exactly are you? You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, newcomer. Show some damn respect. Oh, a wizard. Like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drop did you just say to me? Come on, Gord. Don't be shy. Pull a rabbit out of a hat, or maybe a hood would be more appropriate. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel! Nice. That was awesome. And I'm going to I'm going to stay with that decision because Can't carry any more gunpowder, can't carry more whatever. Whitest whites laundry tips for dis for the discerning woman. That sounds more like an article rather than a whole book. Cross your heart and hope to fry. God damn it! There's fucking nothing up here. All right. Well. I'm glad they're out of the picture. I don't have to deal with their bullshit. Uh, but let me go to my inventory and just make sure. Look, why is it a double barrel? Ugh. Let's go to our casebook. Well, first our mind palace. Blackwood and the professor. Blackwood insisted he wanted to save the city and said the professor would help him do it. Remember told me Evernet Blackwood has a hideout in western Grimhaven Bay on Deep Shore Road between Skipper Road and Marsh Avenue. The clan sent scouts there, but they never returned. Grimhaven Bay. Deep Shore Road. Marsh Avenue and Skipper Road. Fast travel point real close to there. Alright, let's get the hell out of this dump. What's weird is... 
Oh, we got yeah, all available evidence. All right, we're good to go. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna take a left, and we're gonna take it straight around this monolithic thing here till we get to the fast travel point. Alright, let's continue our investigation into this, these mithreath. Alright, so, in Grimhaven Bay we basically just need to walk down the street. I believe this is it. Deep Shore Road between Skipper Road and Marsh Avenue. Here's Marsh. Oh, here it is. Okie dokie. That was some shit right there. Losing my fucking mind in here. How about this? There we go. Back to normal. Deep Shore Soup Kitchen, all welcome. Crumpled. Clean. Someone's been here recently. Huh. Smells like fish soup. There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. Smells 
a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. Throat slit. Clean. Throat slit. Clean. The fish mating advertisements. Those have got to go. Huh. Smells like fish. Soup. Another good uh, Lovecraftian movie recommendation is, uh, and by the way, this is an offset smoker. I'm not sure they would have had these at the time, but maybe they did. I don't know. Um, also, you can smoke chicken on them. Yeah, it looks okay, but this is an offset smoker. Um, this is the firebox. This is the cooking area, and this is the little smokestack. And you put a whole wood in in the firebox, and you burn it, and it sort of uh, adjacently moves smoke and heat through the cooking area. Um, I mean, ch chicken is fine. Uh, I would recommend doing other foods in there. Uh, pork ribs, which they, you know, there's dissected pork carcasses in the, in the basement. I would recommend doing pork ribs and pulled pork and stuff like that or brisket or whatever. But chicken is fine too, I guess. I personally don't have an outside smoker. I have a cabinet smoker. Presents challenges, but uh, I've learned to cook with it. It's pretty dope. Somebody likes to lecture. Ah, oh, okay, all right, so. Oh, let me get some of this. Just do some scouring first for resources and whatnot. Yeah, I love cooking with my smoker. I've made, uh... Basically all the mainstay, but I've made pork ribs, I've made pulled pork, I've made brisket, I've made, uh, uh, well, I think that's, those are the things, that's what I cook in there. Um, the thing I'm best at is pork ribs. I've got that down to a fucking science. Here, into the sea. I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Okay. Uh, pulled pork, for me, honestly, it's very easy. Uh, it's not a hard thing to make. Uh, ribs are harder in that there's a little more subtlety to it. They're, 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 e they're harder to fuck up, but they're also harder Finish to make. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. They're harder to make perfect. Um, pulled pork is... Uh, a little bit easier to fuck up. But it's also, if you follow X, Y, and Z, it's a little bit easier to kind of perfect. Um, and brisket is just kind of hard all around. Because brisket requires you knowing what a brisket should be like, what good temperatures are, what temperature point you shouldn't go past, if you shouldn't shouldn't use foil in your particular situation, if you're going to use uh, uh, butcher's excuse me butcher's paper, and uh, uh, the heat distribution in your smoker. That's brisket requires all of that knowledge. That's why it's hard. It time, time to strike down the false prophets of the order and to take back Professor Doe. Time to figure this out. I would say for brisket, my recommendation is take it out of the cooker at 205 
205, 207, somewhere around there. And don't use foil if you can avoid it. Or if you're going to use foil, use it for a short period of time, like two or three hours. Do not use it for a long period of time, like five or six or seven hours. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Sorry, I totally forgot the whole thing, the whole sequence here. This one's a little too spatially spread out for me. Well, let me go downstairs. Oh, I am downstairs. Okay, I am downstairs. No, there's a basement. All right, let me go to the basement. And I forgot how to get to the basement. I think it's this way. Yeah. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Take back Professor Doe. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead. While I speak with the others. We'll see what uh, downstairs has for us. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Let's try elevation based. One. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the order and to take back Professor Doe. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Ah! This one's obnoxious. Oh, hold on. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with it. It is time. Time to strike down I think the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. Took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went. Key evidence? All evidence? Yes. 
Very good. Mine palace. Let's go to the mine palace. It happened again in their vision of those damn hallucinations. Everyone has to into the sea. Only one spot on the map is on the coast, the one in the Western Salvation Harbor at the end of Pembroke Lane. UD playing the kidnapping. UD needs Harry. The order is planning something dangerous, and Harry is instrumental. Okay. Okay, guys, hold on. I'll be back in one second. Okay, all right, so we're back. Sinking city. I need to work out where he went. Only one spot in the map is on the coast. Western Salvation at the end of Pembroke Lane. Okay, so pin evidence place on map. We are in Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor. Western Salvation Harbor at the end of Pembroke Lane. Okay, I think we can figure it out from here, how to get there. Too much diving! The diving was a novelty at first, but now it's like, okay, it's gonna be fucking fish and weird shit down there that's gonna piss me off. Get out of my way, everyone get out of my way. I guess I ran past it, didn't I? Yeah, I did.
to go over this way up past the Seven Oaks Bar, which we just passed, and up this street. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. For reals, guys. Ah, damn it. I think I'm gonna die here. Fuck you! Up! Up, I say! Climb over! Fucking. Ah! Jesus. Jesus Christ. Was worth it, I think. Now let's go in our inventory. All right, that was well worth it. So we're gonna take a left on Pembroke here. If this is actually Pembroke. Yeah, I cheesed the game a little bit there, but whatever, I got some more XP. Ay, 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 more diving. Oh, God, okay. God damn it, get out of the water. If there's another boss down here, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay. Bullshit. I, I liked the underwater sections at first, but now they're starting to become a little annoying with the arbitrary sort of like damage that you have to take. And of course, I should be able to climb this. See what I'm saying? And it's like significant damage. And I, by the way, guys, I turned everything down to easy after the last boss fight. So. Basically, this game has no difficulty setting because it doesn't really matter. The difficulty doesn't really. Look at this. Look how hard it is to regain integrity. 
and how easy it is to incur damage. It's fucking ridiculous. Get that fucking thing under there. Oh my god. Let's just get out of here. I'm curious what happens with your shooting. We're insignificant to it. It's like a flea bite. Okay, this level of geometry is not working for, like, what the fuck? Like, they design a level, but then they don't play test it enough to know that, like, you can't actually clear the obstacles. Look at this. This is horseshit. Just fucking get up there. These underwater sections are starting to piss me off just because it's like the 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 it's the rules are so inconsistent. Please don't have another boss fight. If there's another boss fight in here, I'm just, that's it. I'm done right now. I'll come back to it, but um, hopefully it's just more investigative reporting or whatever the hell I'm doing. Swiss cheese with fewer holes. It feels like another boss fight's coming on.
Oh my god. Okay, all right, so we killed a bunch of cultists and we're investigating stuff. These underwater layers these people have. This is something else. Okay, let's go back here because they said, oh, well, we don't have enough, uh, you have too much ammo. And I'm just like, yeah, I bet. Here we go, 238 pistol ammo. So we're good on uh, antipsychotics for some reason, we're not good on. Um, Still can't craft any grenades. At least we got some more of this pistol ammo. This, so this revolver is actually turning out to be pretty good. Um, I can't believe our character is not going insane or having some issues dealing with what is what we're dealing with right now actually I'm gonna switch to the, to the revolver please and uh, we're gonna run around with that because there we go shell casings can't carry any more 38 pistol ammo Mr. Blackwood, guess I finally caught up to you. You are a follower of my work? Oh, sorry, Evernote. My heart belongs to another. Fred from the fish market said you could tell me where the professor is. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was about to wage war on the EOD then. Harriet Doe. I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you need to find her? She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a dog digging for a bone. Concept of the greater picture. The professor is the one. She is too important to be bothered by your questions. She is all that 
that remains of the few. And listen to me. Herod must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen, gifted with visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I don't follow. You talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here show the truth. I lost days studying them long ago. I once surfed the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. Okay. Why don't you save us both a lot of time and trouble and give me the short, snappy version? There is a cosmic cycle at the end of each turn. I'm sorry. My time is too short. Please, find Harriet. You must make sure she lives. In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Reed. You must not fail. Oh, 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 what the fuck? I guess I just entered a portal or some shit. It's a prison. I've seen these symbols before, but but where? First fresco since dark aeons before the age of man. Kithigunar lies beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. Okay, we're just gonna keep. Moving along, moving along, moving along. All right, second fresco. Uh, another piece of the puzzle. It looks like a wheel, something, something repeating maybe, like the seasons, some kind of cycle. But there are those who would free the daughter if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Kith. Sigonar, driven by hideous visions. I was about to say, guys, I guess in an earlier rant, uh, as, as we're playing this, that if you like Lovecraftian themed movies and you want to watch something pretty good, I would highly recommend um, The Lighthouse. Uh, it's a good movie. And it's a good horror movie, and it may not scare you or anything, but it's just an interesting watch for sure. A seal. I'm sure I've seen these symbols before. Where? The seal of Cathigonar will open the way. Many will try to perish. Try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. Oh, okay, it's linear. I thought there was a branching path here. My bad. My bad! Because there's not, I am sort of hesitant and, and reticent to take this path, so let's just chill the fuck out. Huh. 
Professor Doe, are you all right? All right? Uh, I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? I'm here to rescue you. Robert Throg Morton wants to. Rescue me? But I, 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 don't you understand? Everything is in my hands now. There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be or else it all ends. What is this about a cycle? It always begins with a great flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. When the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. What gates? Katiganar! The gates are not closed, the gates are not open, but they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? But the seal may close the gates, and close them forevermore. Professor Doe, you're not making sense. We need to get out of here, now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone! You, you don't understand. I play a part in it all, but only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. What do you see in your visions? Horrors. Uh, nightmares. Alive. I see. Reality. Torn. Rotten. The things below and water. So much water. Water is, is death. I. I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has. that has to be. that has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, I don't understand. There can only be one of us. I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. Alright. Decision time, okay. Another vision, it happening in another vision, one of those damn hallucinations. The visions lead the chosen to the city to their de the chosen to the city to the destiny they led me here too am I part of the prophecy prophecy says there will be many chosen but only one savior those that fail will die prophecy says there are many okay Recently, Harriet Doe has experienced horrifying visions. Could she be one of the chosen? Pro pro prophecy says that there will be many chosen. Those that fail, prophecy say. Okay, I'm gonna save and we're gonna go back to our mind palace.
Let's try this. If there can be only one professor, it will be me. No! No, no! You can't steal my destiny from me! It's mine! <sighs> well, I guess I have to kill her either way. Either decision I make is just me. At least I tried the honorable thing. I woke up at the hospital to discover it, my old acquaintance, Johannes Vandenberg, staring me down. The seal of. Kith Gonar is missing, and after I learned it in the Temple of Dagon, I cannot proceed without it. I need to find it. Sorry, I was trying to remember what the name of the, the symbol or the thing was. Right, so. So let's take a look at our XP pool and our skills. We have five knowledge points available and we're this close to another one. So what should we get? I have no idea. What are you doing here, Johannes? You have quite a knack for asking the wrong questions, Mr. Reed. I'm here because I heard you were admitted. You don't seem the frail sort, so my interest was piqued. Last I remember, I was underwater. Consider yourself lucky. That's not the best place to be unconscious. I'd wager you'd had a drink too many were it not for the scratches. What exactly were you doing underwater? There was this ancient temple down there. It was... it was wrong, Johannes. A horror show. It's all right, I believe you. I won't ask you to relive it just yet. What happened to my things? I need to find them. Mr. Reed, do you take me for a hospital employee? I... Uh, I guess not. Apologies. Although, this wouldn't happen to be about a certain seal. Would it? How do you know about it? Mr. Reed, there are plenty of things you do not yet know. Luckily, I want you to succeed. Perhaps it has been misplaced. You may wish to return to where you were found. If I were you, I'd inquire with the staff as to where that was. I'm not taking advice from a man who won't give me a straight answer. What's your stake in all this? A little civility goes a long way, Mr. Reed. I'll see myself out. Huh. You're not leaving until I get my answers. Be very careful. That kind of tone merits a lesson. But not today. Once you've found the seal, come find me at my theater. Here's the address. Perhaps I will answer your questions then. 
farewell. All right, we did nose dive. Did that story mission? Okay. We're on to the deal with the devil. Five fucking skill points, almost six. Um. Eats a lot of leeches, apparently, because she never shuts up about eating leeches. How bad it is. I guess I can't ask her what's going on. They can raid this locker. There's some more stuff. And we're good on all of these. Let me try. Yeah, I can't craft that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I was rescued by a stranger. Do you know who it was? Ah, let's see. You're Reed, right? <laughs> well, that's funny. It was a regular of ours. A regular? Yeah, his name is Billy Drunnan. Well, let's just say he enjoys a drink a bit too much. Seen a lot of him these past few months. Barrel fever, huh? <laughs> I tell you, his file is just about bursting at the seams. The things he comes out with in therapy. Uh, can I have my things back, please? Oh, of course. There you go. Is this all you have? I'm uh, missing a large, round object. I, I don't recall it. Sorry. At least you're leaving here with your life. <laughs> That's something. Bye. Brought to the hospital by a man called Billy Drunnan. He's apparently an alcoholic and has undergone therapy many times over the last few months. Patient 1, Billy Drunnan, 9, 15, 18, 89. Patient diagnosis, alcoholism, cirrhosis, unemployed, 7, Oaks Bar, regular. Taken to the hospital on multiple occasions uh, due to near-fatal intoxication. Wow. That's a bit insane. Let's go talk to this Billy Drunnan. Hospital of St. Mary, founded in 1862. Designed by B.A. Kaplan. Every life matters.
Still can't believe there's no fast travel around here. I'm gonna go all the way back here, across the river, and all that, just to fucking... Well, we're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it. We're gonna get over there. I'm feeling a bit tired. May end it here soon. Let's see. Maybe we'll try and squeeze another hour out of this. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but. Load the casebook. Alright. Seven Oaks Bar. I know the Seven Oaks Bar. You gotta tell me twice. Where is our dear old fast travel point? Thank you. Christ. Why isn't there one near the hospital? This is ridiculous. Let's go look for this dude in the Seven Oaks. Billy Drunnen, I presume. Who the jog are you? Oh, it's you. Good to see you doing better. Told I owe you a debt of gratitude for bringing me to the hospital. I was nothing. Good book says to help your neighbor. Wasn't gonna leave a man to bleed out, was I? And all the commotion, I seem to have lost something. It's large, round, covered in inscriptions. Any idea what may have happened to it? You think I'm the kind of guy that'd save someone with one hand and pick his pocket with the other? Matter of fact, I do. So give it up. I can't prove I don't have something, can I? But I swear I didn't steal nothing. I found you on the calm shore. You were in a bad spot, so I didn't hang around to look for large, round objects. If you dropped it, maybe it's still there. I'll tell you where to go. It's close. Decent view, too. Well, I suppose it's worth ruling out the possibility. Thanks. Hold up. Is that all? Not gonna buy your savior around? What a world. You're right. Next one's on me. Thanks. Just as I was getting thirsty. Okay. Apparently, Billy Drunnen found me rather close to the Seven Oaks Bar on the beach in front of the Calm Shore. He marked the exact spot on my map. Well, let's go check out the Calm Shore.
Alright, so I can't find... I mean, this is where I was supposed to have washed up, right? Let's try it down it that way. So we found it, calm sure. Uh, our guy's face is gone. Show casings. Alright, so we're where we're, we're probably where I got picked up. Squid, two squid. Never know drew the same sigil in the Orion Club to summon monsters. Never know drew the same sigil in the Orion Club to summon monsters.
Okay. I finally have it. Better hurry to the manor before more interlopers show up. All right, so he stole my stuff. So saving the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood. Did you really think the Yellow Kings wouldn't catch you? When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking this one. Finish him, Carl. Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Time to figure this out. I think it's fairly chronological. So right, saving so the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood. Two. Did you re when the chosen visit you? They never seem to come back. So fools! You don't know what you're doing. Put him down. Blackwood dragged me to the yeah. surface, but was ambushed by Dronan. Both seem to think I'm among the chosen. And now Blackwood has the seal. All evidence? Not all evidence. Wow. First time in a while.
Die, scum! Uh, this must be where I surfaced. There we go. All evidence collected. Okay. Billy Drennan is no simple drunkard after all. He ambushed Everton Blackwood just as he was res rescuing me from the temple. However, Blackwood managed to flee and took the seal of whatever to his manor. Drennan may know where that is. Go back to the hospital, talk to Drennan. I am getting a bit tired, guys, so sorry for the lack of commentary and input and stuff like that. I just, uh, yeah, I'm, it's a little late. This has been going on for about three, four hours now, so. Yeah, I just need to make, hit the main thoroughfare and then just go straight and I should find the, the fast truck. Okay, we are back here. Let's find our way to the hospital. Let's take a right and continue on Roosevelt Street and then take the boat over. This should be Roosevelt. Right then, I don't know if you guys saw this. this guy was walking around and then just decided to lay down like he got hit by this car right here. So, I mean, that's his prerogative, I guess. Get in. As I have discussed before, before probably my favorite music in the game.
I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper this time. won't relent, there'll be even more. Time to figure this out. New victims. And if the flood won't relent, there'll be... This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. The flood was sudden and hit the city hard. The hospital staff tried to help, but quickly ran out of room and medicine. Well, okay then. I didn't notice that shit before. I, I don't know if that's relevant to my current case or just the game at large. talk to Billy Drummond again who should be here well, just, I think he's one floor down yeah he's gone Talk to the doctors here. Uh, uh. Actually, I may be confusing things. Be safe. We don't have any free bets. Oh, yeah, I remember. He's at the Seven Oaks. Never mind. Sorry, guys. At least we found some new stuff. We uncovered some new secrets about the city, and we found a new fast travel point. Fantastic, so we don't have to worry about uh, going to boats every time we need to get to the hospital. Uh, Shannon Harbor, here we go. Or Salvation Harbor. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting tired. Oh yeah, yeah. This game.
All right, let's. Let's get her done here. Man, I'm so tired. I'm just trying to like figure out the next sort of like staple in this and then be good with it. And he's not here either. Where did Billy Dronin go? I thought you said he was here. Ah, son of a... He was just there a moment ago, scribbling something. I guess his tab just got even bigger. Anything else? You're a local. Can you remind me where to find the Blackwoods Manor? The manor? Eh, yeah, what do you want with it? It's been empty ever since the Blackwoods left. You planning a heist? I'm a private investigator, sir. I'm paid to be better than that. Yeah, well, the manor's easy enough to find. Top of a cliff in Grimhaven Bay with a million dollar view. Where did they go? Do I look like a history teacher? All I know is sometime around the flood, the whole family just up and vanished. In fact, two families. The Blackwoods and what remained of the marshes, too. Pretty odd. You think they had something to do with the flood? Could be. Or maybe they just saw which way the wind was blowing before the rest of us. I won't keep you. So kind. All right, we'll go check out. Try and check out Blackwood Manor. Um, what's his face is gone, but uh, on a cliff in Grimhaven Bay. Okay. A cliff in Grimhaven Bay. Uh, let's check the map. Oh, here we go. So we'll fast travel here, take Deep Shore Road up here, and then try and go that way. Okay, so we're here, and we know where we have to go, so we're going to take a hard right and go down Deep Shore Road. Keep going down Deep Shore. Check the map, see if I'm on the right route here. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, 
shit, I'm in an infested area. Alright, we're gonna run our asses off. Let's go. Romanos, let's go. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Get out of here, jerk. Oh, God, it's not good. Not good. Can we just... Yes, let's go. Up, up, up and over. All right. Out of the infested area. You know, I have half a mind to say this whole area is an infested area. I don't see... Well, okay, there's people. That's a good sign. Get the truck out of here. Get the truck out of here. Well, I would love to, to be honest. But I have to find supply. Dude. Did I not get anything? There's nothing in there? Look at this place. Random ass dead guy out there. I liked how I was involved in every little minor mystery in the beginning and now it's just like, ah, oh, another dead guy, okay. Look at that, there's a this ship just kind of stuck in the harbor there. I said just this, this ship's the oh well hold on Ridiculous. So first off, let's go in our inventory and so we're back up on health kits. Right, more summoning. I need into this fucking place, I guess. So I gotta figure something out. Okay, maybe I can find a, maybe this is a secret door. Yeah. Okay.
Uh, so that was a bit of a clusterfuck. Let's go back into our inventory and go ahead and craft another med kit. And more of that. Because that was a bit of a shit show. And there we go. Let's go back into our inventory. Very nice. The lock seems in good condition. The door won't budge. Shit! Man, we're just getting bombarded with fucking monsters here. Holy fuck. Okay. Well, where are our skills at? Six knowledge points. Okay. Alright, how close are we to the next one? Uh, we're pretty damn close can't carry anymore. Alright, well, I think that's a first aid kit, but so we might come to, back down for that later. Can't carry any more of that either. Okay, that's good and bad. Yeah, I figure this is some fucking... Horrifying shit down here. Well, sanity is totally fucked for the moment. Uh, this one seems more recent. Ritual. Candidate number eight, Linda Brennan. Failure. Extraction of the dreamer seed was successful, but my sigils couldn't contain it. I must keep trying. None of them deserve to bear this curse. Candidate number nine, Judy Innes. I was able to free the host from the curse, but not to control it. I must be missing something. Candidate number ten, Gordon Smith. Another failure. The deep one's gold does not help. I need a different focus. A much, much stronger one. Candidate eleven, Harriet Doe. I was too late, and yet she is not the last remaining seed. Like I first thought, there was another. There is another. Dragon's Eye. I've seen this before. Of course the Blackwoods would have a space for rituals. I'm well equipped too. Let me get out of the basement. Maybe that'll deal with my sanity. Let's just let our sanity recover for a second here. Dude's losing his mind and I don't want to waste any resources on making him feel less crazy.
fucking horse shit. Ridiculous. Okay, twenty one twelve eight five okay uh okay three three all right fucking good wide open sea <laughs> I too was drawn to it once Well, okay, so we've investigated and cleared out some significant portions of the house. Okay, we need to come back for that because it says we can't carry anymore. Uh, well, first off, six knowledge points. Man, this is hard. Um, well, I mean, shit, I don't know. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Dear Iona, Ionia, I have looked into the matter with all due diligence, and I am sorry, but you were too hasty with your conclusions. Eberno is a bright young man with an uncanny talent for the occult, but nothing indicates he has been chosen. He does not carry the dreamer's seed. Do not judge him too harshly, however. Tempted you might be, he has lived his entire life preparing for his destiny. When he learns he is not chosen, he will need guidance. I advise you to send him to the Order. I seek the I see the makings of a preacher in him regards Portia Marsh. That's from Shadow over Innsmouth for sure. Come into the sea, darkest relatives. Ever since my son Eberno turned out to be a, f a false messiah, we've known this day would come, and now that the end of the cycle is drawing near, we may delay no longer. Let us meet at the family cannery and make our escape from the city. Do not draw the attention of the authorities and allow no outsider to follow you. Celebrate our last days in this wretched city and come unto the sea. Leave all of your possessions behind. Once we reach our masters in the depths, we'll have sustenance beyond need. Is it just me, or is she looking back? Is it just me, or is she looking back? Is it just me, or is she looking back? Sorry, I wanted to see if uh, multiple viewings of the painting had multiple impacts on sanity. Or had a compounding impact on sanity. Alright, well, we'll go back down in the basement. And finish up what we were doing there. Blackwoods would have a space for rituals. Well equipped too. Uh, this one seems more recent. No, 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 not again. Cotiganar. I'll try and remember that. Cotiganar. 
So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. This way, Gordon. A cure for your illness awaits. Okay, let's see what we have here. This way, Gordon. Oh, you blasted thing! So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. Ebernote conducted a ritual on someone, but the man died in the process. He buried him and set out to find something he called a stronger focus. Got my sanity recharge real quick. It's getting kind of ridiculously low there. I'm just gonna give a second. Blackwood's diary. The vultures have grown bold. They went after me in my own home. The defenses I have in place are strong for sure, but the numbers are on their side, and they won't stand down. The Yellow King's gain never does. I knew you were looking for me, Mr. Reed. The truth about you was revealed to me the moment I saw you, but now the Yellow King's men have confirmed it. I cannot risk telling you too much, as this book may yet fall into the wrong hands. Still, I have faith a detective of your caliber shall figure it out. I will now make haste of my plate haste to my place of pilgrimage. The seal of Kithaganar is within me. Okay, guys, so we found all of the stuff we need to find here. Let's go check our mind palace. Uh, Evernote has a seal. Evernote 
was convinced his ritual six is his ritual needed the seal of Cathogonor to be successful. He has it now. Okay. I do hate the controls for the fucking mind palace. Okay. Black was we're gonna ritual to extract the seed from the chosen. Whatever his intention, whatever none of the previous chosen survived ever knows a cult endeavors. Blackwood has fled, but I think I know where he is, has went. His previously made pilgrimages to the site of his family's exodus, the Blackwood Cannery. It would have existed about as long as the Blackwood family have been citizens of Oakmont. Plus, it must also be close to water in one of the port districts. Alright, so let's go to the city records office and look for something pertaining to anything to do with uh, canneries. So we're going to give this place a try and see if we can find something in the city records pertaining to some sort of cannery. We might check the university too. Here, we're going to stay on Forefather Street, basically, as far as we can go. Perhaps not. Perhaps we'll go down this street and then take our next right. I taste like the dreams of mad children. Fantastic. I don't even know what that means. Alright, making our way 
down here. I believe this is City Hall. That looks very City Hall-esque. Nothing there to collect or read or anything like that. Okay. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. How much of a newcomer I am anymore? Okay. Uh, okay. Subjects. Enterprises. Nineteenth century. Let's say legal documents. There we go. Blackwood Marsh Canning Factory established 1873. Proprietor Yona Blackwood, Aldous Marsh, address Central Grim Haven Bay, corner of Nantucket Street and Fitz O'Callan Street. Grimhaven Bay, corner of Nantucket Street, and Fitz O'Callan Street. Nantucket Street. I cannot believe it. I mean, I'm sure there is a fast travel point around here somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. Um, I wish there was more of a sort of like a Far Cry mechanic where it was just like, oh, you can unlock all the fast travel points as long as you do X, Y, and Z because having to like actually find, well, okay, there's one right there. Have I not found that one yet? How close do you have to get? I get you have to get pretty fucking close. Can't believe I haven't found that one yet. All right, so. Wow, that was pretty quick. proceed on this street and then take a right is right down here I've probably been to this cannery before and that looks correct I'm imagining it's this here we go Blackwood Marsh cannery Just when I thought I'd actually get somewhere first for once. 
Hello there, Mr. Reed. I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Do we know each other? Well, I must say, I'm a little hurt. The Yellow Kings know everything that goes on in this Borg. And that includes you. I've seen some of your gang's handiwork before. What's your angle? Us? Well, call us concerned citizens. And this is just the kind of situation we concern ourselves with. I believe you recently lost something important. We're here to make sure you get it back. The seal. Uh-huh. Gotta find it before you go complete cuckoo like all them chosen before you. So what do you get out of this? I just do what I'm told. And my boss was very clear about this. Your boss? Who would that be? Oh, don't you worry, sir. He'll find you when all is said and done. What did you just say about the other Chosen? All the Chosen go bonkers eventually. Whatever you're doing, you better step on it. You ain't safe. And from what I hear, it's been showing. So, do we have a problem or not? Not at all. You're here already. Do your thing. Just leave us be while we do ours. If Ebernote Blackwood shows his face, we'll put him down for good this time. Don't you worry. Okay, interesting. Eyes open by Nightmare. Evernote was thought to be chosen. Okay. The seed will drive me mad. If I can't get rid of the seed soon, I will go completely mad with the rest of the chosen. Okay. Don't worry, we'll stay and watch. We've got your back, Mr. Reed. Well, that's good to know. <sighs> the door won't budge. Up, right? Looks like everybody left mid meeting. Okay. Mr. Blackwood, thank you for your generous donation. Every can of fish you have delivered to us will help. Per your request about the recent cases of mass matching hallucinations, our patients' privacy is paramount, but for a patron like you, some arrangements could be made. I will notify you when I manage to piece something together. I feel obliged to ask, however, what is your interest in this, Dr. Palmer? Sacrificial chamber underneath their factory. Ancient prophecy. Since dark aeons before the age of man, Cathogonar lies beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. But there are those who would free the daughter. 
the dreamer seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle that was carrying the seed are drawn to Cathaganar, driven by hideous visions. The seal of Cathaganar will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. Sounds like my boys upstairs are dealing with some shit. Better get up there pronto. You are here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. So you're here on some kind of... what? Pilgrimage? This is where my family once gathered, before descending into the depths, never to see the sun again. They left me here. Punishment for being a... disappointment. Lacking the curse they wanted to exploit, as if that were all I was. You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? Oh, could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's... reassuring. I was told the Chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me, what were they after? They have been a nuisance, hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find your hands soiled the same way? I can't let you have the seal. Now, Charles, let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Kill me, you mean? Yeah, I found your cozy little cemetery in the manor's cellar. All those satisfied customers. Yes, yes. There were some early complications with the ritual, but how could Tikanar itself will guide my hand? You better start making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the dreamer's seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have, everything to be here. I know this is my fate, our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you, this is not where your journey ends. I want a moment to think. Destiny waits for no man, Charles. This According to the prophecy, is the key to opening the underground prison under Oakmont or locking it until the next cycle? 
since dark ends before the age of man, Kathagonar Katiganar lies beneath the ground in that Eldritch prison seal of Katiganar will open the way many will perish. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not sure what I do here. I'm wondering if I can trust him to... He fucking murked all my bros down here. So... I don't know if I trust I've this seen guy. What I don't trust this to guy. Your other guinea pigs, and I'm not even. I can't let you do that, Charles. You had a choice, and you chose wrong. Death awaits any man who would stand between me and my destiny. <laughs> Let's just reload my shotgun real quick here. And let's go ahead and go to, oh shit, okay. Inventory, all right, inventory, uh, grenade. Oh, I guess I didn't throw the grenade. Well, that's fine, because then I didn't have to waste it. Just reloaded all my shotgun ammo. Good to go. Skills seven Looks like now. Everybody left mid meeting. All right, let's actually look at our skills and see if we can't upgrade anything. All right, so we don't. We we've concluded we don't want anything else from here, for the time being. Okay, so vigor. We want one, two, three. Four, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six here that we want, and that's about it. And then here we have one, two, three. So that's nine that we want. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so we have half of everything that we want. Let's do this. Hold on. What is going to be immediately more effective? I haven't used grenades in a little while, so let's say more pistol, more shotgun, this and this. Those are more immediately uh, usable. And we're going to say. Uh, this one, this one. And uh, this one for now. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our inventory. We're gonna say, let's max this out. And that's not maxed out. And now let's go to these lockers and loot them. And Looks yes, like now we can carry more stuff. Meeting. A 
I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the Chosen are in here. Okay. All evidence collected. Fantastic. Mind Palace. Let's go to my fucking Mind Palace. Alright, what does it say? Alright, uh... Evernote Blackwood... Evernote fights the curse, Evernote wants to free those carried in the seed, whatever reasons may be. Evernote's rituals inevitably kill the parts. Evernote's rituals could rid me of the curse, now that is it. Okay. Evernote was promised a great destiny, then denied it. He is associated with the idea of being chosen. Try to develop a but all of his previous attempts killed it. But it seems the curse is my bird and mine alone. I need to get sealed back from Evernote. Well, I already chose to do that, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go back downstairs. I think I have the maximum amount of vitality, so I don't need to worry about that as much. Okay. We got all the evidence. We got all the resources. And we upgraded our character. Now let's see what we have left to upgrade. Um, these would be nice. They're not imperative. Uh, I would say... This is going to be imperative at some point, and then here, um, more so, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six that we absolutely need, the rest are not as important, so, just six more skill points, like I said, we can go into a, a dangerous area and try and farm them if we have to, let's check our casebook, wouldn't give the seal to TNR, so I had to put him down. Time will tell whether he's a visionary or a common madman. Regardless, Johannes van der Berg told me to speak with him at his theater. After I got the seal, hopefully he knows what we should do. Um, Johannes van der Berg gave me an address I should visit after I get the seal back. Western Advent, Vinland Avenue South. Western Advent, Vinland Avenue South of University Street. So we're going to pin this and place on map. Western Avent, so, uh, Vindland Avenue, south of University Street. See where I am? Yeah, I just gotta go back. I think it's out this way and then just down the corner, down, just down the street. Yeah. I guess that's the closest, and I won't have to take a boat necessarily. I don't know why I'm against taking boats, it's not like they're dangerous or anything, I just, for some reason it's something I'm like, oh, I don't want to take a boat if I don't have to.
Okay. So, how the hell do I get over there? First thing I'm gonna, I want to get down to Hurricane Road and go straight if I can. So I'm gonna take a right here and just beeline it to Hurricane Road. Hurricane Road. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Try and take it on the straightaway. So, I can go up here and hit university and try and take university over. and now I'm going to try this one over and I think we're probably close to this guy's house yeah here we go crown theater um, and if I I can't believe that, once again I can't believe it's not a fast track ay 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 Dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. Okay, well, so first of all, first of all, I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal. And then I'm gonna go into my inventory. And I'm gonna craft another healing kit and craft some more shotgun ammo. Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. curious now that that just kind of happened by accident I wasn't planning for any of that so police line do not cross ah okay so that was part of the story that's why the monster just showed up out of nowhere makes sense now keep my revolver handy it's 4440 should Okay, so I have one more knowledge point and I have another one on the way. And I can't remember how many more I needed. Let's see. I wanted at least um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least. Uh, so I have two. 38 out of those. revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. 
I wonder if we're being set up. It appears someone huh. tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. Repeat the verse after me. Gnaia ilia ogn ogn glui has thor fataranek ungi bunma. Okay. Uh, back recording, sorry. Just trying to keep things recorded here. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry, we're making progress and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm interested. Still wet. This phone was used recently. Yeah, so the guy that sort of contracted us or was asking us to help him with this is dead now. So that's, we've got to figure out what the hell's going on now. Um, but now we have free reign of the rest of the theater, so should be able to figure something out. There should As be more As our material evidence. existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows. Dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles, yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. Okay. Pierre de Lalande. Repercussions and Reflections. Monaid possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, le philosophe in canu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. Your humble servant, Theurgy of Math. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. Okay. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Okay. 
Let's see what actually... Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Okay. Framed for a murder. Interesting uh, development here. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me... How did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Investigate this. To whom it may concern, there is conspiracy brewing in this city. It's the Fishmen. I know you couldn't confirm my previous reports, but this time it's different. They're taking over. Their rancid underwater gold has been servicing around the city. Soon they'll have enough to buy out everybody. Your institution must investigate this. I took the initiative and performed a preliminary investigation. Yes, I know I don't have a license, which is exactly why I need somebody who does. I'm sending you the first batch of my notes. More notes will follow as I carry on with my research. The conspiracy is real. The Fishman. The Fishman regards Sims.
You better start brown nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Ah, uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. <coughs> when you put it like that, I can see how I may have made some errors in judgment. Forgive me. I'll try to do better. Well, that's a good start, Mr. Reed. Assuming you're not being sarcastic again. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Alright. Uh, let's check our skills. So 129, now we have two skill points. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and save. And killer the murder was definitely forced. The man was being forced. Okay, that's not match. All right, case book. All right, we gotta meet him at the Carpenter Manor, and I remember where that place is, so I just have to find the nearest fast travel. From here, which is right here. Which is literally like just down the street. Yeah, I found this the other day, all right. So here we go, nice, easy, fast travel point from there. And we're gonna go, it's in Old Grove. Carpenter Manor. I haven't talked to Throgmorton in a while. I guess I'm done with him? I don't know. I guess my investigations don't involve the Throgmortons anymore. It's just a little weird because they were so uh, ubiquitous in, in every story thread and mission in the beginning of the game, so. Kind of interesting that uh, we're not talking to them anymore, but uh, we're moving on. We're pressing on. Right, so there's a thing, and then we go down here, and then I think we take our next right. <coughs> Excuse the Rona. Don't you have work to do? That was uh, cut off short kind of abruptly. Interesting cutscene though, I guess. Okay, back at Carpenter Manor. Let's uh, let's talk to these guys. I should be talking to Graham right now, if I'm not mistaken. He should be the dude in charge. 
Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed, welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. Uh, how are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please, I'd rather not discuss it. But my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Though I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out... I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you. But the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little more I can do. That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. I get the feeling you knew Vanderberg. He was an old friend. A man of rare... mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes. One of the hapless grunts at Muse are gone. I'm afraid... I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. What do you know about Milton Pierce? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles, though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights, but sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Should you run into any further difficulties, take care, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over. Okay, finally got my fucking Tommy gun. Fantastic. Sweet. And let's go ahead and inventory that. Okay. Yeah, we're up to snuff on all of our stuff here. And carry extra bomb, that would be nice. Carry extra 10 more machine gun rounds. I have the points for it. Or I could just max out the revolver and the shotgun right now. Don't really need that, don't really need that. The, these two are sort of important. But let's just get through the game right now. See what we need to do. Alright, sweet, so we got a fucking Tommy gun. We're ready to fucking rock. Let's uh, go to our casebook. I couldn't, okay. Uh, Alright, I couldn't learn much about Milton Pierce. All I know is that he lives somewhere in Reed Heights and is currently running for mayor. He had an interview in the newspaper recently. Well, you guys know what that means. We gotta go down to the newspaper archives. It's just how this game works. Might grab some coffee in a minute here to, to pet myself up to keep this thing lively. But anyways, let's go check out what's going on here. Uh, newspapers this way.
Okay, Milton Pierce, all I know is he lives somewhere in Reed Heights. So, section, uh, district. Reed Heights. Uh, running for mayor. I need an interview in the paper. Articles and interviews. Celebrities. There we go. Today our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights. All for the sake of interviewing one of the most pop promising political figures in Oakmont. Pierce's property. An apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Hewlett Street is definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man meeting regularly with community leaders. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, let's just go to our case book. And we're going to go ahead and pin evidence and then place it on the map. Reed Heights on Museum Avenue. Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Helix Street. Okay. There we go. Pierce's interview. So we have some idea where this guy is. Now we gotta go. Heights. I can't believe the closest fucking thing we have. Actually, the closest thing we have is right fucking here. Can't believe it. Continue. Yes. All right. Where are we at? We need to take Chack Road West just a little bit. So take a left and then find Helix Street. Doesn't look like Helix Street to me. But this next one could possibly be it. No, I've already passed it. So it is over here. This is healing. And this game reminds me of Vampyr to some extent. Uh, Vampyr had a lot of navigation in it as well. This looks like a pretty snazzy... Yeah, I was about to say, it's like a pretty snazzy place. It's a pretty snazzy door. Alright, and once again, I am not leaving anything to chance. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Downstairs. See if there's any fucking monsters down here who are ready to rock and roll. Hey, 
Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. So perhaps it was Milton Pierce that committed the murder. I am framed. Oh. Must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Emptier than a banker's heart. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? A note to Molson Pierce. Milton, my earnest friend, it's been a while since we last met, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. How about we finally hold that seance we've been talking about for so long? I expect to see you at the Crown Theater soon. Warmly yours, Johannes. Hmm. So Milton was supposed to be there anyways. Well, I guess he was the guy who would... While Milton Pierce may not yet be fully fledged, uh, a fully... may not yet be fully fledged member of the Oakmont legislature he's already proven his see they're missing a indefinite article there he's already proven his fitness for the role i know which is ridiculous coming from me who like i mean you guys if you guys have been watching these let's plays you know my my reading on uh mike is always it's either flawless or extremely flawed there's no in between He's already proven his fitness for the role during his election campaign, not only in word, but also in deed. First, Mr. Pierce prepared and put into operation a new water supply project for Oakmont. He's also actively engaged in greening of the city, planting trees in suburban areas, and proposing new park spaces for recreation and community events. Second, his campaign promises seem to have struck a chord with the public. Most notably, Pierce has advocated for the construction of a wall around Oakmont to prevent the influx of newcomers. Is it just hyperbole, or could Pierce really do it? We'll find out if or when he wins the election. I think this is an allusion to uh, modern politics, the, specifically the 2016 election. Um, a Someone very thinly veiled here in a hurry. illusion. I definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Alright, so we got that thing popped up. Let's just make sure we grab everything in here. Letter from Throgmorton. Do you, Mr. Pierce, despite all the differences we might have had in the past, I can't but admit that today you see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. Oakmont needs a strong hand, which you surely can provide. Don't expect any financial support from my side. I believe one running for mayor should possess the requisite financial means. But otherwise, you have my full assistance. Respectfully, Robert Throckmorton. Interesting. And the shape I, is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Yes, we have. Letter from EOD. Mr. Pierce, on behalf of our community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few of the stakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth descendants, and you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of our friendship, and proof that while we maintain this connection, no one from our side will dare harm you. Yours, Anna Cavendish. Politicians, Someone man. Got changed Just makes here in a hurry. Yeah, let's get this right, so. the, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. So, blood drinking. Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah. Where's my dang tie? 
Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Go on, give me that all evidence, baby. Blimey! For reals? Okay, I didn't get all the evidence. Damn it. What did I miss? What did I miss? I got the wine. I got the book. It's a pretty cool effect. The piano reverb from just turning on my Cthulhu vision. Well, let's check around the apartment. There's something I missed. Or something downstairs. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Bit at a loss because I don't know what the this hell. This guy missed. sure had some blood on his hands, literally. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Here we go. I've seen similar nope. daggers before. Nope. Something we missed. I don't know what we missed, guys. Thought we were pretty thorough this time. Hey, must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Guessing I'll get the all evidence when I go outside. Maybe I'll run into someone and talk to someone. I don't know. Something like. I guess not. So let's try. Let's try going back in and going to the mine palace. Pierce was close to Vandenberg when he was killed and got his outfit sweatered with blood. The bloody clothes in Pierce's house can be used as evidence. Still, I need something more to accuse him. Well, what in the hell? Am I missing? Oh, there we go. That's it. 
One stupid note of there. From fellow Oakmonters, from this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers and insmithers will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and the forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again. Yep. Not so thinly veiled. Was it? Almost ham-fisted, you might say. Yeah. All right. So. Milton Pierce came home with his clothes stained with blood. He ordered his butler to take them to the laundry room downstairs and went to meet with potential voters at City Hall. Uh. So we're going to look for a little fast travel location to try and make it to City Hall. I don't know why we're going to City Hall, but we're looking for Milton Pierce. Possibly anything to do with him. And since he was at City Hall, it may be prudent to go check it out. I mean, but I would imagine he's there now, although he might be. And I sure would love a fast travel point. Just anything remotely close around here. Buy a paper, mister. No fast travel points thus far. Isn't this fantastic? Just this one, which is where we came from, so. So we're gonna go here. And just check out City Hall. It's our only lead right now, really. Um, let's check out City Hall. So we're gonna check it out, see what's what. While this is loading, we're gonna get some coffee, hold on. I'll tell you what guys, I think this coffee is just what the doctor ordered. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's late October guys, but you gotta understand Tucson does not get that cold in late October. And it is 53, 52 at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, that's like December, January temperatures around here uh, it was in the low 30s last night or the high 30s last night so uh, cold snaps can be funny but when you're trying to maintain just enough heat in your swimming pool to be able to be like yeah I'm still swimming because you still have temperatures in the 90s during the day and 60s at night kind of pisses you off when it you get these like weird cold snaps because I'm like hey I still want to swim oh, man stop bothering me newcomer Let's see if he's here. Good 
day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Ugh. Very hot. Uh. Why did you call Alright, let's like go with that? the. Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manners know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk. Breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Okay. I definitely want to kill this son of a bitch. Framed me, now he wants to kill his mother for her money to finance his own political campaign. What a piece of shit. Alright, so let's go to our mind palace. Kill what is blackmailed, suspected newcomer. No, that's not the thing. Okay. Milton Pierce is correct. The man who shot Vandenberg is a newcomer. I learned that he married recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There should be a marriage license somewhere that may help me find him. Uh, city records. Subjects, newcomers. Period after the flood, registry, legal documents. Hereby satisfied Glenn Gordon Byers and Evelyn Catherine Lane residing at Revenue House on the corner, at the Revenue House on the corner of Powderhouse Street and Orchard Avenue Eastern Shells were united in marriage in accordance with the license issued by City of Oakmont, Massachusetts. Numbered, okay. So, we found a marriage license. Let's go talk to the actual killer. Pin evidence place on map. Okay, Revenue House in Eastern Shells. The Shells. We'll go to the east 
corner of Powder House Street and Orchard Avenue. So here's Orchard. There we go. And we have a fast travel close by. Very nice. Definitely want to kill that sack of shit in there, though. So we're going to see if we can make it happen, but uh, first I want to get all the facts to this case before I decide who I'm going to uh, wage sh some shotgun justice upon. Let's go to the shells. Let's see if my coffee's cooled down some. Much better. Mm. That is definitely doing the trick right now. Checking our map real quick. Okay, we're gonna go. If it will load, we're gonna turn straight around 180 degrees and just go down Orchard. Let's grab some of this. Guess it's nothing. Still be sleeping or dead. Should be somewhere around here. I think it's this. Pretty big ass house for someone who's this poor, but it is. It's, it is are you Glenn Byers? Up. Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, PI. The guy taken the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family, but my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her, our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. You know who's responsible. Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe, uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know, I swear. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. Just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. <laughs> you never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they sent... They sent me... Drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I can already see it. It's a finger. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. 
You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, Ooh. they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? All right, I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Thank you. Actually, You're I'd prefer to try and clear this guy. He was clearly blackmailed into I'm doing this. So. You in this position. I want to save his family and clear his name. Uh, if we can force push the blame onto the fucking politician, that would be even better. So we'll do what we can, but I don't know what the game's gonna let me do. So. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind uh, of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. Seems like you're reluctant to do the job. Here's a little something to motivate you. Get on with it. You want a tow? I can get you tow. I'm staying here. I'm gonna finish my coffee. That is the, what, the fourth? Uh, Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. Fourth Big Lebowski reference in this uh, Let's Play. So, the home Suffer of the Jet, Jet huh? What am I to do now? It's gonna go in here. What are you to do? Good question. Well, first of all, did it get all there the- There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. This door will be hard to fix. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. I was just about to say, I'm just like, we use the spade all the time, numb nuts. She's a crusto. Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. This door will be hard to fix. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. <coughs> hmm. Should I... Michael's diary. Dear diary, Mom's got a new chic. Things seem to be pretty serious between them. Well, I hope this one won't make her cry like my father did. Glenn seems to be really nice. Seemed to be a really nice guy. He showed me his collection of stamps and gave me this nice model car. Mom got married again. She looked so beautiful in her wedding dress. And happy. A guy in a terrible yellow scarf came here last night. He was asking too many questions about Dad. Funny, I'm already calling him Dad anyways. I told him nothing and said to get lost, and today, writing ends. So we know it's the yellow whatever, sons or whatever the f their name is. I mean, I surmised that already. Grape, silk, and lace. Go. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Don't you dare touch my mom! Open this door or I'll kick it down! I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Uh, uh, uh. 
Don't you dare touch my mom! Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. One of Evelyn's attackers fell through a hole in the floor. Uh, maybe I'll... Wow. How do you know all that? <laughs> you detective types sure are clever. It would explain the broken boards. Uh, I'll get you the key. And, uh... Sorry for the mess. I'll get going. Nice! Fuck you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> uh, very nice. See, that's that's what you want from a shotgun. You don't want to have to, like, empty 47 rounds into a fucking thing. You just want to, like, pull the trigger oh, once and be like... Hard fall here. Yeah. But I'm not him. That's a rare spirit. I'd like you to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Got here fast. Holy shit. Done with the monsters now? Congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. Someone must have had a hard fall here. But I'm not him.
In the bag of a dead game mem gang member, I found a piece of a map of the southern part of Salvation Harbor. On a, one of the houses on Eel Street, north of the intersection with Skipper Road, is marked with a red circle. Okay. Almost definitely has something uh, crucial to do with what we're doing here. Really? Can't carry any more of those things. All right. Well, let's go back to our inventory and manufacture as much ammunition as we can. What do we need to manufacture the fucking Thompson ammo? Gunpowder and shell casings. Okay, I guess I don't have enough. I thought I'd been picking up gunpowder left and right everywhere. I hear something making a bunch of noise. Like another monster somewhere. Okay, uh, go back to our casebook. Mil Milton Pierce knows I did not murder Johannes Vanderberg. For some reason, he's setting me up. Pierce really believes he's out. Okay. Must become mayor. Oh, he testified against me in case of Vanderbergs. Okay. So for some reason, we haven't gotten all the evidence here yet, and I don't know why. We should have gotten all the evidence. That's it. It's another thing that bothers me about this game. Is it's just like it's like there's that one little clue you gotta find and read some stupid note or something, and then it's like, oh, now you have it all. And it's like I'm pretty sure I pieced it together. That's a rare spirit. I'm lucky to have a bottle from before prohibition. Sends shivers down the spine.
Maybe if I talk to the guy up here again. What am I to do now? Maybe not. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. Here we go. Nope, saw this one. So, the home of a suffragette, huh? Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. I think this is a small allusion to the music of Eric Zahn. Possibly. Um, I don't know, guys. I just don't know what the hell I missed. Key evidence collected. So I'm just missing one more thing. Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. Sends shivers down the spine. Well, what the hell? I have no idea, guys, what, what the, or the last piece of evidence could be or what it is. Or... Someone must have had a hard fall See what I'm saying? Like, what? And I'm not him. Old, but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Seems like everywhere I grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. This door will be hard to fix.
Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. Wow. I honestly have no idea where the last piece of evidence is, guys. This is crazy. What am I to do now? There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. Maybe I'll have to come back. Only thing that makes any sense. All right, so let's go to our casebook. We have a lead. Uh, okay, we're gonna pin evidence and place it on map. South of Salvation Harbor region, north of the intersection of, intersection of Skipper Road and Eel Street. Salvation Harbor. Eel Street, Skipper Road. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find 100% of the evidence thus far there. I mean, all the complete evidence and everything. I mean, I... Honestly, I combed through that entire place top to bottom. I think it has something to do with me having to finish more of the case. Which is a little obnoxious, if I'm being honest. But that's just how this game is. You just kind of get a feel for it, and you're like, okay, yeah. Is the phone booth? I thought Thorg Morton wanted to know about all the, all about this esoteric order of Dagon. Now I'm all involved in this, and I haven't talked to him in forever. It's kind of weird that I haven't talked to Thorg Morton forever, in forever. He was my main employer when I got here. There it is. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, the coffee's coffee's helping a bunch. Although, you know, so sleep deprived, probably gonna need some Red Bull if, I, if I'm gonna just pull, like, try and reset my sleep schedule and do, like, an all day thing. Uh, definitely gonna need some Red Bulls. Kavi's not gonna cut it for that, but it's definitely making me feel more alert right now. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is take a left on Calm Shore and then take a right on Skipper. So we're on Calm Shore. And then the next the left available should be where we need to go. Eel Street. Quit staring, newcomer. Get the truck out of here. Newcomer. 
Got my Tommy gun. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. And then I'm gonna craft as much crap as I can. Got some alcohol, shell casings, still can't craft any more ammo for the Tommy gun. Also don't want to waste a ton of ammo for the Tommy gun. Got some gunpowder. Okay, so this is a sort of almost pseudo-religious cult, I'm guessing. Not just a gang. This looks exactly like the gang hideout from the other people. Fourteen gunpowder. Okay, so guess what? Oh, I also found ammo. So I don't need to craft any more of these. Okay, even better. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Sorry, Billy. This is... So this is how it ends. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. The city has far worse men than you. Alright guys, yeah, sorry about the silence there, I was just trying to focus on making sure I got that all right. Um, it looks like that went off pretty much without a hitch. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to kill the guy that saved me, but uh, he was an asshole holding another dude's family hostage and blackmailing people and whatever, so fuck him. Um, 
Gonna go craft another med kit real quick. And we're gonna get a revolver out in case there's any other dudes to deal with. I am saving submachine gun ammo for uh, big monsters and things of that nature. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and 38 pistol round. Good, we got eight of those. So I'm gonna go ahead back to this guy. We have reloaded. Good to go there. Mm -hmm. Can't carry any more bricks. I don't really know what they're for. I guess they're for distractions. Um, I haven't found much use for them in the game. It doesn't seem like a game that's very good for distracting stuff. Okay. Can we go downstairs? I feel like downstairs might hold some interesting secrets, so... No, I don't think we can. There's no downstairs. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no point. Okay, so let's go upstairs. We killed a bunch of dudes. We killed this entire dude's gang. That's probably a good thing. Can't carry any more of those. I don't want to waste shell casings and gunpowder on that ammo type. So, yeah, we're kind of at a crossroads here. Also, what is our... What do our skills look like? Skills... Two skill points, and we're getting fairly close to another one. So, we're, we're getting there. Can't, can't carry any more of those. Can't search his body. Yeah, he saved our life, but I feel like it was for... I don't know, selfish reasons, ultimately. The door won't budge. Aggrieved by EOD. Barry Morgan, fisherman disturbed by Innsmouthers catching all the fish. Luther Merritt, daughter raped and killed. Guilt of EOD members unproven. Wallace Rose, injured in a fight with Innsmouthers. George Cavendish, named Sir Glenn, wife joined EOD before a child that wasn't his. Bore a child that wasn't his. Kenneth Harvey saw Innsmouthers stealing from him at Delaney Jensen. Sunday Spirited Shells blames Innsmouthers. You note the smells of fish. I got it, Billy. We'll make sure no one from the expedition gets back to shore. And if anyone slips through, I've got just the guy to handle it. Goes by the name of Lewis Flynn. Very obedient. We'll do everything he is told. Provide him with detailed instructions. Yours, A. Sketchy notes. Of Fecan Mother's Young, things to be told to Graham of their intellectual abilities, similar to those of a three-year-old child, but will continue to evolve mentally. Will perform simple orders immediately after brought to life. Uh, understanding of complex sentences will come later. Of nutrition. Though expendable, they are living beings and require chemicals to sustain optimal level of functioning. Give potassium and cod liver oil. It's good for their tissues. Will ask for sugar, do not give. General care, do not expose to direct sunlight right after birth. Their fibers are not yet firm and may decompose easily. I'm kind of having trouble piecing together what these guys are doing. Are they with the EOD? Are they against the EOD? You would think the EOD would be fine with the fecund mother um, birthing all these abominations. I don't really know what's going on, so... A map and accompanying piece of paper written with coordinates 49 degrees... Uh, 40, 47 degrees uh, 9 south one, I forgot how to read uh, latitude 127 degrees 43 shit is it 43 what is it I forgot the I forgot the units west minutes that's what it is minutes are reviving on reviving the long dead steps to return spirits of the long dead ones to corporeal life essential salts Copy the formulae from the Borealis or Borellus Grimoire. Pier Adonai invocation should be recited for several hours. Search for exact wording through the works of Peter de Pono. Dis mies je invocation may be the great in invocation of the Agrippa. Yinash Yag Sothoth invocation, written in a different handwriting. Yinash Yog Sothoth He Iglib Throdog. Combine together and present to Hill, crossed out. Just give him the books and hints, let him find everything on his own. Okay. What the hell? 
Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Yes, quite strange indeed. Mr. Droney, your proposal proved too tempting to resist. I will tell the police whatever you need, though in return I will require some assistance on my election campaign. Sincerely, MP. Here we go. Old key. Hmm, I wonder what that leads to. Let's go in here and save this dude's family. Oh, thank you, mister. I, I thought they'd kill us. I, I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who, who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine. But this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <sighs> we'll stay at Pegs. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Have you... have you come to save us? Okay, so all evidence collected here and we got as much ammo and stuff as we could. Let's check our pistol. Seven... Uh, we got 15 rounds on it. Let's go to inventory. 15 out of 28. Let's go check our skills. Still just two skill points. Um... Well, fuck. I guess we'll just have to deal with this low ammunition. This is not, this is sort of a fallback pistol that I'm just using for, um, whatever right now. So, let's go ahead and Make our way back to that guy's apartment and see what we can see. Hold on. Said all evidence collected, but where? There's something about meeting at specific uh, coordinates. I'm gonna save before I get to what's his face, but actually I want to talk to the uh, the one guy first. I want to talk to the politician first because uh, he lied to the police. So um, whatever he said was horseshit, meaning that who gives a shit what he said. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to City Hall first. We're not gonna go to the shells just yet.
Yeah, I was playing uh, Silent Hill 1 the other day, and I gotta say that the general gameplay of this, at least in terms of like fighting monsters and how scarce resources are, it feels a lot like Silent Hill 1, I guess Silent Hill 2 to some extent as well. Like it does, it, there's a big Silent Hill aspect to this game. Like I said, the best distillation I can give you is the layman's distillation is Silent Hill meets uh, L.A. Noir, and the, the more experienced gamer who's... And I don't mean experienced like, like, oh, I'm so good, but like experienced just like, yeah, I've played a lot of games, specifically the Sherlock Holmes series. Um, the best distillation I can give you is that this is the Sherlock Holmes games meets Silent Hill. Which is honestly kind of an awesome combination because it means that the puzzle solving and investigative aspects of that game are even more um, interesting. Keiko, he's, he's not at City Hall anymore. So that's where they're married and they live. So I could kill the mother, find some poison, which is part of killing the mother, or go to the house of the married couple. It doesn't seem like it's giving me much choice to do anything else. I would like to confront the politician and say, hey, I have evidence that you lied. Which is what I want to do. Here we go. Mystery of the Creepy Ones. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys realize this, but in um, the early Frogwares Sherlock Holmes games, uh, Watson would sort of like teleport behind you, and so you would turn around, he's just there, and he had this like creepy look on his face too, so it became sort of a, not really like a meme, but it became sort of an inside joke for people who played the games. I actually haven't played the super early ones. I've played the Crimes and Punishments, Devil's Daughter, and that's it. Um, but I wanna play the Testament, which is in, in that specific series as well. Also, Sherlock Holmes The Awakening, they have a whole H.P. Lovecraft Cthulhu-themed Sherlock Holmes game, um, which is pretty cool. So, let's see, what is this? Uh, Crown Theater, all evidence collected. Pierce's interview. Apartment Milton Pierce, all evidence collected. Um, let's tr fast travel here and try and confront Pierce, but otherwise we're gonna have to go to the apartment and talk to the guy. I don't want him to turn himself in, but this game seems to be full of like, well that's that's something that was sort of uh, I noticed in the Sherlock Holmes series is they like to put a lot of difficult choices in it. They don't want it to just be like, oh, here's the good choice. Here's the good ending, here's the bad ending. They want it to be sort of difficult to choose. to keep left on check and then yeah I remember the way I think Yeah, he's not here to confront, as far as I can tell. I don't think we can go upstairs, there's nothing upstairs. Yep, okay, so we gotta go talk to the guy. Damn it. A 
tell you one game I absolutely need to finish. I've played Silent Hill 1... No, I haven't. I don't think I've played it in its entirety, but I've played 2 in its entirety. Believe it or not, guys, the only one I've played in its entirety is uh, 2. I never finished 1, um, and I got really far in 4. 4 was awesome. I really liked 4 a lot. It was a very interesting game. Um, I think it really pushed a lot of boundaries that were in the Silent Hill series. Like, it really, it did a lot of interesting experimental stuff, but it was also an amazing game. Um, three, I got about a third of the way through, uh, but I need to go back and play those games. I have two and three on the Xbox now, and four just came out on GOG. I gotta say, like, um, I gotta say, uh, I was very reluctant to, to, to get, start buying games on GOG, but there was just, it was too many years where games just, that were on GOG, they wouldn't come out on Steam, they wouldn't come out on Steam, you know, like a great example is the Ultima Underworld franchise, I was just like, I saw it on GOG and I was just like, oh, I should play those, and I waited and I waited and I waited, and my, my thinking was, you know, it's kind of like, when Netflix first came out, I said, look, if movie studios want people to view their content, just put it all on Netflix. Do not, and, and, and what we're seeing now is the resurgence of the whole reason cable basically died, um, is that people do not want 40 different subscriptions and 40 different $10 fees and whatever, and eventually they're paying $400 a month for just basic entertainment. Um, people don't want that shit. Um, and that's what I liked about Steam is just having everything centralized, having everything cheap, and having everything um, sort of standardized within the Steam environment. But then Valve kind of fell, you know, they stopped caring about supporting older games. Now all they care about is their sort of subscription-based bullshit that they do, which is not subscription-based, but you know what I mean, their microtransaction um, fucking... Dota and games like that and blah 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 and uh, newer games and they're not as interested in putting older games on the platform and of course good old games that's like their whole fucking thing so many fucking monsters in this house What in the... Dude, there's something big out there. Die! That's right. Your family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. Well, that's going. a shame he has to go to jail. That fucking sucks. Yes, I'm gonna frame Milton Pierce. He's a fucking piece of shit. Absolutely, I'm glad this is an option.
Now that Byers doesn't have to worry about his wife and son, he will confess that he killed Vanderberg. Okay. Uh, okay, once again, I still... Didn't find all the evidence here. What the fuck, dude? What am I to do now? I don't know. Chill out. Who in hell would Can think you use a spade as a weapon? Uh, oh, but yeah, I mean, wait a minute. I I almost regret that my Steam library is so extensive and, and no so full of stuff that I want because I would almost rather. You know, I was avoiding having GOG for years because I just, I was like, no, I want all my stuff in one place. But here's the thing, even GOG understands that. And GOG Galaxy, the app that you can install on your computer, if you sign into all your other apps while you're on it, there we go, that's what I missed. Okay, letter to Evelyn. Evelyn, I won't hide it, I was very disappointed by your choice. Me and your dad kept hoping your second husband would be better than this stumble bun you're fir you first married. And most importantly, a local, so our family could continue the long and proud lineage of Oakmont natives. You just broke our hearts, girl. If traditions mean nothing to you, think at least of your son. Mike should be brought up by a real man, salt at the mare, not a rootless newcomer. P.S. Your sister insists we install a telephone set in your place so that you can stay in touch after you move in with this Glen of yours. With love, Mom. There we go. All evidence collected. Fucking trash can! All right, let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and craft another shotgun round. And uh, skills, where are we at? Okay, we're almost at three extra skill points. Yeah, so I mean, like, I like the way GOG does things, like, they, like, even my Xbox games, right, even my Xbox games show up in my GOG library, it's a holistic library, it shows everything that you own on every digital platform ever, if you put your credentials, the right credentials in, where Steam won't do that, you know, also GOG is not afraid of it, it does plenty of new games there's plenty of new games on the on the platform and then it also does plenty of old games another thing that GOG does is they're really um, Steam used to do this they used to be really concerned with compatibility with, with old games because that was kind of the selling point and now Steam is so ubiquitous among most users that it's really just a platform just it's just the way you get PC games now it's like going it's like what going to Walmart was back in like 2001 2002 you know that's where you get PC games you go to Walmart you go to Target you go to the PC game section how you get PC games now is you just go to Steam um, and so they're no longer considered like the old game guys so you've noticed that Valve has definitely taken a back seat to supporting older games they still put older games on the platform and everything like that but they don't ensure that support continues they don't ensure that compatibility continues um, uh, for example Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine finally came onto Steam uh, it was been on GOG for a little while longer than it's been on Steam that was the first video game I ever played to completion installed it on Steam and couldn't go full screen and it had all sorts of video artifacting and stuff like that it was no effort made to really make it compatible. The, the only thing they made sure was that it could run on Windows 7, Windows 10, and that's pretty much it. They didn't really give a shit about how this archaic early 3D acceleration engine was going to work with modern hardware, and it doesn't work with modern hardware, not very well. It has a lot of trouble um, communicating with modern GPUs because it's not built for that. Um, but at least it will install and boot on the operating system and that's all they really cared about whereas I've noticed with GOG releases like they're pretty fucking solid if if they release something on GOG and they say it'll run on Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows whatever you know like it'll fucking run 
and it'll you can you know it, most times with GOG releases you don't even have to fuck with the INI not in every case but most of the time you don't even have to fuck with the INI you don't have to download patches like they're much more concerned with compatibility so I think for me GOG as a platform is much better because it's like you get the best of both worlds like all you get all the new releases and all the new games and you get the old games with almost guaranteed compatibility another thing that you get with GOG is their sales are more frequent it feels more like Steam did back in the day Steam sales now like Steam used to take like 75 90% off of games all the time now they'll do like 25 35 and be like oh it's a huge savings and you're like not really it's not that big of it you know like the amount of time you have to wait for a game on Steam to go down to what I would consider like reasonable levels if you're not like obsessed with the game and you just want to check it out it's kind of a long time it's like one or two years whereas on GOG you know the discounts are still very significant um, and it's not all dictated by the platform I understand but still so uh, yeah I just sorry there's a quick aside like I just think GOG is I, I I feel bad for avoiding GOG for so many years because I would go on there and see all these amazing games and I'm like, oh, I want to play all of these, but I'm like, oh, they'll come on to Steam at some point, don't worry. And Steam used to be the gold standard. I mean, when the Thief, like, for example, Thief, the Thief series was one of the first series that I was like, please put on Steam. And it was one of the first series that I had been waiting to play for a long time because it, the compatibility issues were so fucked up back in the day. And, and they finally re-released them on Steam and they worked on XP, they worked on Windows 7, um, those were the two OS's at the time that people were trying, and it was just like, wow, this is amazing, and like, they full resolution support, no real bugs or anything like that, and I was like, this is great, fucking love you, Steam, um, and so that's, that was one of the first series where I was like, yes, please bring it onto the Steam platform. But like, as I said, you know, as the years went on, I noticed that like compatibility became less. And, and of course, they didn't update Thief's compatibility. The Steam release of Thief uh, Gold and Thief 2, the Metal Age now, are arguably still kind of fucked up depending on what OS you have and what hardware. You can have some serious issues and you might need to download T-Fix or some other patches, you know, and they don't continue support as well as some other people do and it depends on the game too and it depends on the publisher and a lot of other things it's not all valve's fault i'm just saying that it seems to me that valve is much more focused on putting new games on the platform and indie games than they are resurrecting old games and and matching compatibility whereas gog that's like the that's how they started um and I just, I just think GOG is a better platform. And of course, the fact that it's all DRM free is really nice too. Um, so anyways, that was my quick aside. Not quick, but that was my aside about uh, my revelations about how I like GOG more than Steam now. So we are going to go back to the apartment there. Yeah, we're going to go to Pierce's basement and plant the gun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but uh, I'd love to know your guys' opinions on GOG versus Steam versus whatever. Um, Epic Games, and maybe Epic Games will become the new GOG, but that is something I absolutely refuse to fuck with. Like, if it's not Steam or GOG, just fuck it. Seriously. You know? I have a few games on Origin just because of Humble Bundle. And I thoroughly regret that because, like, for example, Mass Effect. Mass Effect, like, playing Mass Effect on the PC is such a clusterfuck. Because, like, for example, 
I think it it's Mass Effect 3 that's not even available on Steam. So if you want to play through the trilogy, you're kind of stuck playing like 1 and 2. And then the DLC is not available on Steam either. So you have to have the DLC through Origin. And like actually the last time I played Mass Effect 2, I had to download and install it through Steam. And then I had to update it through Origin. And then I had to unlock all the DLC through. It was a fucking clusterfuck of bullshit. And I was like, I should just be able to click install and have everything right there. Um, EA has really fucked themselves over with Origin. Origin is such a piece of shit. And I wish that they would just, like, get with the times and be like, yeah, nobody wants your stupid, you know, third-party DRM. Just go Steam or GOG or something. And just let people play your fucking games and stop, like, stonewalling everybody with all this garbage. Alright, I guess we're gonna go in here. There must be some way to get into the basement through his apartment, his main apartment. I think it's right here. Nope. It must be the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Come here. There we go. How many more fucking slimy boys are there in here? We'll just come here. Just come here and fight, and we'll take care of it. Oh, Lordy. Nice! That was expertly done. Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna use... I haven't hit... Alright, sweet. I got the evidence against what's-his-face. Now, it sounds like there's an even bigger monster in this building, so I'm gonna get a big fuck you gun out right now. Let's go ahead and top off, yeah, let's top off this gun. All right, we're good. So the shotgun's full. No, we'll keep the, the shotgun handy. <laughs> I don't wanna get, get sidelined by some giant crazy monster right now. How many skill points do we have? I think it's three now. Yeah, three, and uh, we're a ways away from whatever else, so three will get us... We haven't used grenades in a while, though, so I'm almost kind of wanting to... I don't need that as much, don't need these as much, don't need those... And basically, I would want these two, and this one. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven. So I have three skill points now. Man, I don't know. Like I said, you know, it's really hard to just spend these willy-nilly. We're gonna go ahead and stop this part of the recording. We're gonna do another section. Let me just wait for it to stop. Okay, that one stop. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, that's the recording has started again. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do Yep, okay, we're gonna charge Milton Pierce. How do I do this?
We're gonna go to the police department, I guess. Two bums fighting, I guess. Okay, we're gonna go. Where are we going? It's not Old Grove, it's right, it's Coverside. And. Is it? No, it's not. That's not where the police department is. Where the hell is it? Oakmont City Hall. Where are the police? I forgot, I completely forgot where the police are. Oh, okay. it's right here. Okay, well, we're gonna travel there. Go to the police department, see if we can do that. Wow, we've been going for a while playing this. Tonight. Uh, I hope we are making some significant progress. I mean, we've been focusing on only story missions, trying not to waste too much time. We'll see how it goes. Hold on. Okay, we just gotta get around this park, and then uh, the police department's right there. Or so I th thought. Did I go the... I went exactly the wrong way, I think. This is the police. There we go. It was a little turned around. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is the police department. That looks like it should be the front entrance, but it's not. <laughs> go this way. Should we'll go over here. Yeah. That is not an entrance either. Okay. Where the hell's the entrance then? Oh yeah, yeah. This stuff in the game can be annoying too. You know, you just need to go in and talk to someone, but it's like you have to go in the specific. Uh, I guess it was this way, just that with those sandbags. It looked like it wasn't. Alright, let's talk to this. Don't waste my time, newcomer. Well... Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay. Got the photo of Milton Pierce's bloody clothes. I have to show it to the carpenter taskmaster. Taskmaster is evidence of it. Oh, carpenter. Ta Ugh, what a waste of time. Sorry, guys. I should have read more carefully. I just assumed I would show it to the police. I don't know. Like, why would I go to the carpenters? Um, and I assume that's at the carpenter manor, but we're, like, once again, another assumption. Makes an ass out of you and me. But, uh,. Don't worry, we're making even more assumptions now.
I think I'm gonna need some more coffee here soon. Proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Noise. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Yeah, fuck that Bye. guy. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay. Alright, hold on guys, I'm just gonna pause it real quick. And, well, let me just check something out here. Okay, so... I have a feeling that we are getting sort of close to the end, actually, so um, I'm going to go ahead and save, and I'm going to make a save down here. Well, I'm going to try and keep one of these save slots open in case we miss an opportunity to go and do side quests, because there's a very limited number of side quests. There's not a ton, so I would like a ch the chance to be able to do them. I haven't talked to Throgmorton in forever, so I'm kind of curious to see what he has to say about any of this. I found Harriet Doe, but... But? Things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone, and you come here hat in hand, bleating that she didn't make it. She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? I found the professor in the Order's underwater temple, but she didn't return with me. I'm afraid she'd handled the experience poorly. Her mind was gone by the time I arrived. She attacked me, and I had to defend myself, and... You do realize that you've killed one of the most brilliant minds in all of Oakmont. You understand that, yes? You weren't there, Mr. Throckmorton. All I know for sure is that brilliant mind was nowhere to be found. Oh, blast it all. Now I need to rearrange everything. Useless. Any other bad news? There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane. Or rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Nonsense. I expected better. I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Believe me, there's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. Ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. As for you, I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet, of course. Have a good day. A 
okay, so it's kind of a douche about it. Um, as far as I could tell during the mission, I don't think there is a way to save her. I think it's just part of the story that you just can't. You gotta deal with it. But, um, anyways. So. I haven't checked lore in a while. We might check lore later. Self defense. You've been doing a great job, uh, Detective Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay. Alright, well, guy, give me a second. I'm gonna get some more coffee. And then we're gonna, we're actually gonna press on a little bit. So I'm feeling okay right now. I'm feeling ready to do this. I'm feeling happy about doing this. So we're gonna do some more of this. Give me a second. Cassiman Codler. guys and we are back okay so let's make it to over to the devil's reef uh, this came out of Throgmorton's it should be this way to the fast travel point Was it in Coverside? Oakmont Chronicle? Yeah, Devil's Reef. There we go. Probably gonna be a cutscene of some kind. I'm watching you, newcomer. I forgot about these horrifying uh, giant spider crabs, which apparently are a real thing. I don't know if they get, like I said, I don't know if they get that big, but it, I. This has been featured in a lot of different games, and a lot of different films, and a lot of different whatever. They could possibly get that big. I don't know, which is just a terrifying thing. The door won't budge. So I saw a scientific article recently. Well, uh, something in a science magazine, so not to be confused with an actual scientific article. Uh, it said something about the fact that it's almost concerning that uh, if you track... Um, evolutionary patterns among different species, things tend to evolve into crabs at some point. Um, seems to be... Uh, what they're postulating is that it's some sort of like penultimate uh, evolutionary form, which is just even creepier. Which sort of makes sense, because that's uh, one of the few animals that can grow that big and survive at those depths. I don't know if I'm placing much stock in it. You know, you hear a lot of that stuff. That's why I've never liked magazines like Popular Science and Popular Mechanics, because a lot of the stuff that they... They, they over-embellish things to make an interesting... Makes this place feel more like home. 
uh, uh, headline or interesting right. title or interesting subject matter, but they're always just like they have to. They have to. There's so many caveats and um, asterisks and things like that that have to be. Uh, so many qualifying statements that have to be put in, you know. So. Any like super cool new thing like. Even if they were to say, like, oh, we have a cure for AIDS now, I guarantee you there would be, like, 40 qualifying statements because the only time you're going to hear about something big like that is if it is, like, a huge monumental breakthrough. Because every time I've read about something that sounds cool as fuck like that, you read further and you're just like, oh, it's, like, it, it just the ca the list of caveats just, like, you know, uh, basically the rest of the article is just all the caveats. And they're just like, but this could be cool and but now shut the fuck up. If it's not really a cure for AIDS or if it's not really like, you know, transparent aluminum, then just shut the fuck up because, you know, like that's another one they said like, oh, we finally have transparent aluminum like from Star Trek. And they were like, they went on to talk about how the fact that it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a ceramic. And I'm just like, Yeah. They're like, well, aluminum is part of the crystal structure, and I'm like, yes, it's one chemical constituent. There, there are a bunch in the in the mo individual molecules that make up this ceramic. There are a bunch of other elements as well. So this isn't transparent aluminum. This is transparent sapphire, which we already know sapphires could be transparent, and it's a ceramic, which means it doesn't have the toughness. Um, or the malleability, uh, same toughness or malleability as metal. So why the fuck are you publishing an article that says that we finally have transparent aluminum when we've had artificial sapphires for years and we've known for at least the past two decades how to make um, durable uh, uh, glass for, uh, like for example, on the iPhones, like uh, the the front camera, the glass there is not Gorilla Glass. It's uh, sapphire. It's single. I believe it's single crystal sapphire. Um, to make it extra hard and and uh, resistant to scratches and stuff like that. Um, so it's just like, just shut the fuck up. It's not trans... It, you're talking about a transparent metal. And there's a lot of, if you know anything about metallurgy and then like actual physical chemistry, there are a lot of issues that would kind of preclude the necessity for metals to be opaque, you know, um... There's no way, or reflective, there's, there's not a lot of situations where metallic materials could be transparent, so that's why it is sort of like science fiction fantasy. And if you just try and start like saying like, oh, transparent aluminum, because blah blah, just shut the fuck up. So that's why I hate science magazines like that, because it's fucking bullshit. Anyways, let's crack on with this. EOD has put recently doctors have reported numerous cases of fatal food poisoning among those who receive fish from the organization known as EOD. What is the reason for these deaths and what would the EOD stand to gain from them? The question remains unanswered, but perhaps the famously charitable organization is not that charitable after all. In any case, we highly advise our readers to stay away from EOD members and to refuse any gifts from them, especially food. The cost of free fish might be your life. Canning factory or the Blackwood Marsh Canning Factory was the last night the site of some sad and unusual events. Neighbors reported shooting, screaming, and the sounds of struggle coming from inside the factory. On arrival to the scene, police discovered the dead body of uh, Ebernote Blackwood, the final representative of the Blackwood Grand family. He has been severely wounded and was clearly the subject of a most violent attack, though no trace of the criminal has been found. The case remains under investi investigation by Oakmont Police. Harriet Doe missing. Well-known science Harriet Doe, scientist Harriet Doe has gone missing. The professor of archaeology at Oakmont University has not been seen for days, and friends and colleagues suspect, suspect the worst. My men searched the entire city, confesses Oakmont Police Captain Caleb Lyons. Sadly, we have every reason to assume that she is no longer among the living. Anyone with information regarding whereabouts of Professor Harriet Doe is kindly requested to contact the police or the Oakmont Chronicle office. In recent days, Oakmont has experienced odd outbreaks of sudden madness. Uh, they seem to be spreading throughout the city, seemingly at random through witnesses, though witnesses report seeing university scientists at the location of the outbreaks. Dr. Philip Grant of St. Mary's Hospital believes this is all due to pe a peculiar kind of helminth infestation that apparently originated somewhere around the university. He advises citizens not to neglect their health and to visit the hospital for a highly effective anti-helminic Helmintic treatment at the first sign of disease. 
Brutus Carpenter, head of the Carpenter Grand family, has announced his resignation, citing his old age and poor health. His son Graham has now taken the family business into his own hands, actively engaging in charity. He was seen Tuesday handing out food and medications to anyone in need. If we don't lend a helping hand to the common folk, who will, said the new patriarch, Graham Carpenter, uh, will also commemorate his appointment with a large donation to the venerated Redemption Church. Damn it, I thought he was uh, going to be not influenced by them. I trusted him! <sighs> King's Robes. Story progress. Investigator pack. Not getting that. Although this is a pretty nice one. I kind of would like that one. Oh. Finish the rest in peace. That would be a good one. Bounty of the sea. Extra hours. Field research. Assigned reading. Okay. Open house. I don't want any of those. The only ones I want are uh, maybe Man of Science and Daywear. But this kind of fits the game the best of anything. The doctors at Boston Asylum were looking for a way to fix me. It proved to be, proved to be a tall order. At first, they'd asked me questions. I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just making a list of things to fix. I feared water, so they swaddled me in drenched sheets. I told them about the things in the darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms, blindfolded. No progress until they brought the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctor helped my mind together. He told me who I am and how to think. He gave me concoctions to keep me sane. It seems I'm getting used to it. Question is, for better or worse. I guess I'm... No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. So that's the problem. Without having to go to the hotel room regularly for, like, eating or sleeping or whatever, like, the fact that he's addicted to laudanum and all sorts of other stuff... Never again, they say. ...is kind of lost. All right, I, I've been avoiding it too long. Let's progress the story. How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you've finished the job. It wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up, you son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... Look, you what? all know that... Kill me. As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. And what? Everything. 
You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. Okay. We're close to five knowledge points, so I'm gonna wait till we get that last knowledge point. Uh, maybe we fight a bunch of no monsters or something, um, and then we can uh, we can go ahead and upgrade our character a little bit. So uh, let's see, Lore's casebook, the Fleeing Phoenix. Vandenberg told me that I had the fate of Oakmon in my hands with help to seal the gates of the sunken prison of Katiganar can be closed for several centuries or open at last. But I must find a way in, and the only man who can help me is archaeologist Joseph. He lives on Lumber Street between Hillock. Okay, so we're gonna pin evidence and place on map. Um, Reed Heights, Lumbert Street between Hillock Street and Hale. Helix Street, Lambert Street. Okay, we're gonna go out here. Oh, nice, I just got a new costume.
So now we're on Helix Street. Reed Heights on Lambert Street. Between Helix Street and Hale Lane. So this must be Helix. Look for some street signs. Don't see any, but I believe it's Helix. Here we go, right here. Let's get ready, there's, yeah, of course. Uh, he's been murdered, there's a million monsters inside. What else is new? He tried to escape, but something broke his neck with a single strike. I wonder what could have done that. It couldn't have been Lovecraftian horrors. Of course, go down to the basement. Can't pick that up. Did it just twitch? Whoa, must be my nerves. Okay. And a poor guy died here after several stomach wounds. Damn it! Nice! You stupid bitch. Uh, poor guy died here after several stomach wounds. Uh, wild beasts carried out quite the massacre in here. Sixteen out of zero, what happened to all my ammo for this thing? One ferocious blow, and he was gone. I don't remember using this thing anytime recently, so I don't know where all my ammo went. I hate that in games when you either lose track or just for some reason they're gone. Oh yeah, let's craft another uh, grenade if we can. Oh, I'm missing cordite. Ugh. Let's get the revolver out. What the hell? I've lost my fucking mind. You know what? I've got a thing for that. Here we go. Still losing my mind. Wow. The 
looks of these plants, this photo was taken somewhere in South America. I know someone who was in South America. Is she gone? Did you get her? What the hell's going on? I'm sure I shot her dead, but then she ran. Oh, snub, we are in trouble now. It, my name is Joseph. Sorry for getting you into this, and thanks. Uh, Charles Reed. I was actually looking for you. For me? How can I help you? What do you know about that thing? The girl that attacked us? She's Usha. A Mayan priestess. Rejected by death itself. I can only imagine what baleful sorcery still keeps her alive. Unusual, even by this mad city's standards. Why would a Mayan priestess come here? What's special about this house? It was me she was after. Usha holds a secret older than humanity itself. And she wants to stop me from uncovering it. Don't ask me about it further. I can't say any more. I need your help to get into Katiganar. This madness must be stopped. Oh, that's a noble goal, but Vanderberg... Johannes was the one who told me about you. And about all the things that have happened since the Flood. He did? Well, I underestimated you. We... Share the same goal, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? The Mayan girl, Usha. She was the keeper of the key to Katiganar. We'll need it. You mean the seal? I have it. Just show me the entrance. The seal. You've got it. Spectacular. Uh, but alas, it, it doesn't solve our problem. You're testing my patience, Joseph. Usha was the last one to open the path below, and she still protects it. We cannot proceed until she's been dealt with. My bullets did nothing. Do you know of any other ways to fight her? There are ways to resist her sorcery. I was going to use them myself, but I'm not sure I have the skills to track this thing to her lair. But didn't she come to you? She caught me off guard, tried to kill me. I was unprepared. You arrived just in time to scare her off. I'm a private eye. Tracking Usha won't be a problem. But how do we handle her? Look, when you locate her lair, come let me know. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our defense against her magics. Then together, we'll banish her. Any leads on how to track her? I don't know. But she drinks blood to gain strength. There must be victims, corpses, but... Thanks to the wild beasts and madness, Oakmont is full of the dead. Uh, though, I did hear rumor of a vampire in Salvation Harbor. Well... I guess that's better than nothing. Johannes told me nothing about you. Can you fill me in before we continue? I understand. You're curious. Your face tattoos are rather... unusual. What do they mean? The Indians gave them to me. I visited a lost pyramid in the jungle. These are marks of wisdom. Your illness. How did you get it? Is it contagious? As with many of the tropical maladies, it was born by a certain species of fly, bred in the wells of the old Mayan temple. Superstitious savages may call it a curse of the gods, but we're people of culture, aren't we? I've seen enough to not take superstition so lightly these days. If Johannes trusts you enough to recommend your help, you must have some unique expertise. Well, I am an archaeologist, well-versed in alchemy and other less academic sciences. 
I have devoted my life to stopping the end of the world. Wait, what? I spent years in the jungle learning from Mayan descendants. The illness forced my return, but I believe Shibalba's entrance is under Oakmont. Did you say Shibalba? The world of the dead. It brings disasters, epidemics, madness. The most violent Mayan gods were locked inside and need sacrifices to remain. Different locals gave it different names. Some of them can be traced, their origins identified. But Katigana, it precedes us all. Do you want to get into this place? Under Oakmont. No, no! That place must be closed forever! All that befalls Oakmont has emerged from within its walls. Well, I agree with that. Uh, that's plenty. Thanks, Joseph. Okay, so... Got some my ammo. artifacts could be the prize jewel in many a museum collection. It's reminding me of a certain uh, case in Sherlock Holmes' The Devil's Daughter, I want to say. Uh, crumpled letter. This is the last warning, my son. If you proceed with your self-destructive research, I'll take action. I can't watch you kill yourself, corrupt your mind, and sacrifice your health to these old fairy tales about the dead. It's not worth it. Leave it, or I'll leave you without inheritance. I won't have you spend this money on your own death. End hill. Okay. Antipsychotics, good. We're stocked up on that, and I don't have to waste resources crafting any more of those. There's a first aid kit there. Okay, let's see. Keeper of the seal and still protects Usa, kills people, and drinks their blood to become stronger. There have been reports from Salvation Harbor about a vampire, so I guess I should start there. I mean, it says I guess I should start there. Uh, start looking there, as in, like, let's, um, hold on, guys. Okay, so now I have more inventory. So we're gonna... Just grab some more springs want to make sure that when we're looting stuff we're not wasting so now I can carry even more ammo and I'm pretty tough uh, let's see let's go back to our inventory can we craft any of this ammo no not right now okay but at least we not wasting stuff let's go back here Here, make sure we're getting absolutely everything we can. Hmm, weird that we can't get in there. We could go downstairs.
Yeah, I thought so. So we can climb up in there and get stuff. One ferocious blow, and he was gone. It's one of those games where it really pays to continually check the ceiling for stuff. A letter from landlord. Dear Mr. Davis, I've followed up on your complaint, but regret to inform you that we have found no evidence that Mr. Hill has breached his rental agreement. I visited Mr. Hill after receiving your letter and found no substance to your allegations. In fact, Mr. Hill's apartments are in perfect order. Uh, whatever troubles with noises, voices in the night, and horrible smells you may have, I suggest you resolve them with Mr. Hill in a civilized manner. Sincerely yours, GM Guts. Or JM Guts, excuse me. Okay, so we just got some more ammo for stuff. Uh, as far as I know, there are no shops in the game. I'm very surprised that there are no shops. The game sometimes honestly feels like it's majorly missing something because there are no shops whatsoever, but there's like a huge open world, like, I don't know, it's got a weird flavor because of sh stuff like that. Oh, okay, we got all evidence collected. Uh, and we need to go to... Salvation Harbor. We'll go to the fish market. Actually, you know, we'll go to the bar and ask the bartender if he's heard of anything. Okay, Salvation Harbor. Let's talk to this bartender. Let's see what's what. You know what? Actually, well, let's talk to this guy. If he doesn't have anything, we'll go to the newspaper or the police to ask about it. Pick your poison. Okay, does anyone in here know about it? No.
Okay. Uh, police station should be right here. Yes. So we're going to look up crimes that fit some sort of vampiric description. Drinking blood and stuff like that. I'm going to talk to the cop because he was like, I know you killed the guy, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to see what he has to say. Don't now. waste my time, newcomer. He's still a dick. Okay. Track down the creature that attacks us both, Usha, and tell them where to where is. It was keeper of the seal and still protects the path of the depths of Katiganar. It has a way to be. Usha kills people and drinks their blood. It becomes stronger. There have been reports in Salvation. So, okay. Alright, so we're going to go District. Salvation Harbor. Evidence. Criminal pattern. There we go. J. Callahan to Captain Lyons. We received today a report about the latest victims of the so-called vampire. Several blood-drained corpses were found in a backyard on Old Church Road between C. Smith Avenue and Maple Lane in Eastern Salvation Harbor. I sent a patrol to inspect the crime scene. Uh, the bodies were similar to previous drained corpses in cover side shells and reed heights. No witnesses come forward at this time. Backyard in East Salvation Harbor on Old Church Road. Okay, East Salvation Harbor on Old Church Road. Between C. Smith Avenue and Maple Lane. Oh, sorry, I was like, okay. Okay, I think we know where to go. I'm guessing it's the police line area here. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm gonna go ahead.
Nice. Nicely dispatched. Go ahead and uh, restock shotgun ammo. Okay, we're eight to eight. Good to go. Fire and lots of fish. These guys were gonna have a good meal here. All this blood was drained, just like Joseph said. She didn't spill a single drop of blood. Die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. Yeah, nothing useful inside. Old clothes and garbage, but this letter may be helpful. Hotel owners, this is my final warning. If you do not pay me for the month due, I'll sell all your belongings and you'll be out on the street. No one may live at the Devil's Reef and avoid payment without consequences. Spill a single drop of blood. Okay, I guess I've investigated that enough. Uh, I guess we have to go. Resurrected Mayan tried to kill Hill. So called vampires killed people. Who should. needs. Okay, so none of these are going to fit together. Let's go to our case book. So I got to go to the Devil's Reef and check uh, what the owner has to say. But I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. All this blood was drained, just like Joseph said. If anyone had caught this shotgun blast, they would have lost their head. Great fisk, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you here. Hungry warm skin saw you here. Take this, damn corpse! But Order me, priestess, and I will serve. Usha attacked three Innsmouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him, somehow. 
Uh, bag with a letter. A man named Raymond saw Usha's attack and seems connected to her. He dropped a bag at the scene, instead of which was a letter concerning his overdue rent for a room at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay, so let's go over to our hotel and see if we can't get uh, some information about this case. game is a, a might bit longer than I expected. Not in a, not a bad way. I'm enjoying it for the most part, but it is starting to get slightly long in the tooth. But then again, maybe my sort of getting accustomed to the controls and how the game plays and what it's expecting of me and everything. Like, I was taking my time a lot at the beginning because I thought I was going to need to savor every, like, piece of scenery, but it's a huge open world um, with a lot of stuff that you just kind of need to run past. Which is also one of the game's shortcomings, if I'm being honest. They don't do much with the open world, but... I believe a man named Raymond lives here. Who's your business? I need to talk to him. You'd be better off talking to the wall. Raymond Archer ain't here. Left a few days ago and never came back. Didn't pay either. Damn newcomer. What about his room? Did he leave any belongings behind? A pile of weird stuff and broken junk. Take a look if you want. It's the room next to yours. I found a debt letter from you at a crime scene. Can you tell me who it was for? Huh. I have no idea. Why? Do you send that many of them? Yes, thanks to all you damn newcomers flooding Oakmont. I have a form letter that I adapt. Well, make a newcomer adapt for me to pay his debt. Got 50 of them back here right now. Clever, eh? Indeed. Less useful than I'd hoped, though. Yeah, see you later. Let's see what this King's Robe uh, outfit looks like. It's pretty dope, I'm thinking about it. The murder of the famous mystic Johannes Vandenberg has been solved, and, unlike, and as unlikely as it may sound, the killer appears to be one of Oakmont's most prominent political figures and top mayoral candidate, Milton Pierce. Neither money nor status could help Mr. Pierce escape the law. Despite his protestations of innocence, justice was served and Mr. Pierce was executed by hanging yesterday. What will happen to the election race, and who else may decide to throw their hat in the ring? Only time will tell. Nice. Fuck that dude. He was an asshole. Did Raymond get this air tank from the same place I did? Raymond's Diary, 3rd October. Found work at Flooded Lab on Moreland Road between C. Smith Avenue and Powderhouse Street. Boss says some weird stuff, but sounds like there'll be gold at the end. 20th of October. Prepared everything for the mission, including getting a diving suit. Good thing I know how to use it, too, because the place is underwater. Boss said the entrance is marked with five big stones. 23rd of October. Barely got out with the mummy he wanted. And worse, there was no gold in his tomb. In her tomb. Taking the mummy to the lab, my egghead companion claims he can talk to the dead. Hopefully she'll tell him where the gold is. 9th of January. I can't... 
How is it even possible? How could I know? No sleep, no rest. The mummy. Usha is whispering all the time, hiding underwater in her tomb. Spare me. Get out of my head. Stop it! Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it! Stop it! Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it! The fuck? I just had a gun on my head. My dude is losing his mind though. It's, it's, his sanity's not even that low. I don't know what his fucking deal is. Okay. I've seen some of these places. The backyard with corpses. Joseph Hill's house. Why did he draw all this? Okay. Okay, so... Let's go to our mine palace. Resurrected mine tried to kill Hill. Raymond was hired as a grave robber in underwater tomb. Flooded lab in Northern Salvation Harbor, Moreland Road between C. Smith Avenue and Powderhouse Street. Moreland Road, C. Smith Avenue. It's got to be here. There we go. Okay, what's the best way to get there? Believe it or not, probably right here at the fish market and go down orchard and then just come down here. sure I'm going in the right direction. Nope, I need to go down this way. And I'm going to take Orchard. I'm going to take my first right, which is just around the corner. Get on this boat.
that could be it right there. Or it could be that over there. So we're going to try this one first. No, it's this one. <laughs> I didn't want to climb on top of the cabinet, but thank you very much. Someone wounded really wanted to get inside this room. Nice. Very nice, nicely done. Whatever happened in this lab, it has nothing to do with normal science. She won't tell you about the Tiganar or God. She won't talk to you. Ah, only the seed may know. Okay, Smokey. Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery. It's like our boy, uh, what's his face? Reed is, if, no, we're Reed, but uh, the other guy, his name starts with an R. The guy that we're working with right now looks like he's a bit of a douchebag. Oh man, we're so low. Well, how did we waste so much ammo so quickly? Let's try this next time on that thing. Or the shotgun. Let's not waste all of this ammo. Anyways, let's go to our freaking inventory. And let's see. Ooh. You know, let's keep the revolver out just in case. I have no idea what it's going to be around the corner. If they threw something that big at us right away. Octarium ad vitam pireski. The essential salts of animals may be so prepared and preserved that an ingenious man may have the whole Ark of Noah in his own study and raise the fine shape of an animal out of its ashes at his pleasure. And by the like method, from the essential salts of human dust, a philosopher may, without any criminal necromancy, call up the shape of any dead ancestor from the dust wherein to his body has been incinerated. Borellus. Like it contains ashes mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. Alchemist Journal, 7th of June. Materialization successful. Had to burn subject with acid to make talk. Who would imagine the entrance was the crypt? 12th of September. Materialization successful. Hard to understand the deceased. Dialect is very old, and he knows nothing about stopping madness. 23rd of October. Raymond found the mummy I was after, but she refuses to discuss Katiganar, or madness. Even acid didn't help. 9th of January. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. This Dane Raymond wants his gold, but she remains silent. Told me I'm not K-chosen. 
We must try harder. Usha may wish for death, but as long as I have her essential salts, I can revive her. There will be no escape from the pain. You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or Sealed. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Ah! Let me in! Look the ceiling, sir. Time to figure this out. So again, it's mostly based on elevation this time, it seems. Imagine this would be one. You yeah. promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about this would gold. Be two. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or Sealed. <laughs> Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Ah! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. Stop! She has something to say. Raymond? I was looking for you. We have to talk about the undead Mayan. You don't need to hurt her. She knows what you want. She can offer a deal. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha. But now you're her messenger. Why the about face? She took this body as her vessel. She doesn't want to frighten you. Well, using a man as a puppet is still creepy, Usha. What deal are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend into the depths, into the shell. She knows the way. I need to enter to stop the madness. If you tell me how to do it, I won't pursue you. Generous. She has another offer. Help her, and she will tell you how to meet your destiny. And what exactly am I supposed to do? Kill Sorcerer. Joseph. He does not let her rest. He will pursue and enslave her once again. You could have just told Joseph what he wanted. What difference would it have made? The sorcerer does not deserve these gifts. He is guided by pride and greed. She waited for the K chosen to appear. And here you are, marked. Tied up by fate. She sees it in your eyes, wide shut. Why should I kill Joseph? And why do you keep calling him a sorcerer? He woke her up, plundered her body, forced her to breathe once more, cut her, pierced her, burned her, kept her in chains. You want revenge. She wants freedom. No freedom while the sorcerer lives. What will you do after you're free? Live. If I do what you ask, where will we meet? Among the stone fingers in the Garden of the Dead. Oh, can't you just tell it straight? I've had enough riddles for a lifetime. She believes your mind is not that weak. After everything I've seen in this laboratory, I'm on your side. She will wait for you.
Let me try getting in here. Yeah, I can get in there. There we go. Okay, so... He left Raymond in mortal danger. Attacked Raymond and did nothing to help him. He'll hide Raymond as a body snatcher to bring Usha's corpse, but when she got free, he'll abandon Raymond. Usha was tortured by Joseph Hill, but told him nothing because she is not a seed. Usha wants revenge on Hill, but can't do it herself. She promised me the secrets of Katiganar as a reward if I help. Usha hides underwater in her tomb. The entrance is in the cemetery marked with five finger ship stones. This is exactly what Joseph Hill asked me to find out. Usha can tell me about Katiganar. I could make a deal with Usha to learn more secrets. She will only tell me them to the seed. Hill is just using me to deal with Usha, just like he used Raymond. He is not a man who can be trusted. Hill must be killed. Okay. Usha hide the entrance is in the cemetery marked with five finger ship stones. It's exactly what you oh, I think I know where it is. Okay, so we're going to pin evidence in the place on map. Cemetery is over here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get out of here, wherever we can. Now we just gotta figure out where the hell we are on this side of the street, and... Yeah, we just gotta go straight up Orchard right here. And we should see our fast travel point on the left. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm siding with the Mayan Princess, because they brought her back to life and tortured her, and he doesn't seem like a very trustworthy fellow. The characters are getting a little more cut and dry towards the end here. I mean, but the game is still about, like, okay, there's still unintended consequences for what you doing what you feel might be the right thing. Um, but like I said, it's a little more cut and dry. Okay, so I believe I'm just gonna turn, yeah, just right down here and go straight. That's the cemetery right there.
still have no idea how to fight Usha. I might be losing my mind, but I'm not crazy enough to go in unprepared. I still have no idea what? how to fight Usha. I might be losing my mind, but I'm not crazy enough to go in unprepared. Oh, I see. I have to go kill Joseph first. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, that seems about a good stopping point for this part of the Let's Play. Um, I just looked it up out of pure curiosity. This is the second to last mission. Um, so the next mission is going to be the last. So actually, the next play Let's Play, what we're going to do, we're actually going to go through. Hold on. And we're going to go our casebook. Let me see here. So that's a main. 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 So we haven't done. We haven't actually finished any side quests. And let's see the side quests. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think what we're going to do next let's play, um, the side quests don't all seem to be as long. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do as many of the side quests as we can, try and discover where some of them might be, um, make some saves and stuff, and then uh, when we get sick of that or when we feel like we've kind of rounded out our character enough, I think at that point we'll go ahead and try and do the end of the game. Um, let's see, two skill points to spend. I really would love to get these two. These are not super... We've got the most... We have the most crucial, I think, gun skills for combat proficiency so far. So it would be nice to have better grenade damage um, and range. Um, we have all the ammo skills we want except for another grenade, which would be really nice. Um, and then all of the mind stuff we want basically so but there are some things we can do so uh, but anyways I think that's gonna be it for this part of the let's play once again thank you for joining me I hope you guys have been enjoying this game um, again I am pretty tired and exhausted and I played this a little bit longer than I intended to so um, sorry if the commentary hasn't been super lively another thing is this, this is an interesting game to let's play because there's a lot of character uh, conversation and things like that so it's not going to be a game that's just like um, great for tons of commentary and things like that so but thank you for joining me we've played a, a really significant chunk <clears throat> of the game today and uh, yeah I'm hoping to get through it by tomorrow and uh, you guys should start seeing uh, more of the let's play up this week I my goal is to make sure that all of the let's play is uploaded edited and uploaded um, before Halloween so that if any of you are interested in getting in the spirit of Halloween you've got a nice sort of spooky Halloween Lovecraftian themed game to be checking out but anyways uh, once again thank you for joining me for this um, portion of the let's play of the sinking city and we will catch you guys on the next episode.